<laughs> oh, you were listening to the Atomic Ultra Show on 97.5 FM. Welcome, Internet. How are you guys doing? First episode, first radio show in South Carolina even do this. I got Adrian over here spitting out the hot beats, man. I got Chance over there nodding his head, getting in the groove of this fake music. I got Jar over there looking stoic, but he's feeling it in his heart. All the time. <laughs> I got Lorenzo leaning against the wall, controlling the camera. Put your hand in front of the camera. Wait, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the Atomic Ultra Show. We are a uh, variety show that deals in video games and we deal in tech. We deal in anything related to those two things. We deal in weird stuff on the internet, weird gadgets, weird movies, weird animations. Anything a geek or weird person would liably be into, we probably cover it at some point. Yeah. All right, but before we get into all the weirdness and, and all the, the stupid things in this world that we're going to be awesome for you guys, I want to introduce you guys to the people that you'll be talking to. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm myself. I'm Ivory Boyd. I'm the host of Atomic Ultra until somebody assassinates me, until I come out with plague. And in that case, this next person is going to take over. This is Battle Bear. What is going on, man? What up, people? I'm doing great right now. Wait, wave to the camera, Battle Bear, so you can think. There you go. <laughs> Sitting next to him is Chance. What is going on, man? What's up? I'm here to kick ass, play card games. In that order? <laughs> you can still do them on the show. Oh, yeah. uh, we're, we're pretty open about ass kicking on the show. So. You can even throw cards and kick okay. ass with the cards. Yeah, I gotta like, get better with that. I'm you gotta, I'm gonna... <laughs> Nobody will know if you punch him first. Oh. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> All they know is an unconscious guy and a deck of cards on him. That's true. It's a cigar. That's your signature. <laughs> we'll call you the Mike Tyson of Solitaire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. All right. Mike over Tyson. in the corner right there, controlling our live editing, we have Holy Fire, our JR, our Holy Flame. I, Any one of those names, you, you take them all. all. <laughs> Jared's like, Jared's like, we are legion. I want you guys to fuel me. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the camera, we have Lorenzo. You saw his hand earlier, but if you want to give him a little face, dude, you know. They just, mm -mm -mm. They, 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 oh, they, <laughs> <laughs> but guys, just in case you thought this was it, this is not it. This is not the show. This, mm -mm. These are not all the people. We actually got a whole second truckload of people doing something different mm -hmm. that we we're about to give you the pleasure of meeting. Yeah. So while this show is going on, we also have a second thing going on that makes us even more special from your run of the mill radio internet scream show. We got some people we kidnapped in this room next to us playing video games. But before they do anything, <laughs> uh -huh. let's not forget about our main man, Cody. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you're gonna, they're going to meet Cody. I should have gave him a mic. We should have gave him a mic. <laughs> He's right there. Like, ah, uh, we, we got to fix that. Jared, we got to fix that next time. We just, right. Let's just do the mic right yes. there. Yeah, we got to have it. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, I'm about to do something really magic. This, this is the magic. This is the, the power of live radio shows right now, all right? I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce the people in the next room, right? And then I'm gonna tell them to do something special, all right? And you're gonna see how we connect digital worlds with real worlds in this radio show right here. All right, all right. All right. We combine science and magic Ma oh. into amazingness. Science right. and magic. Hold up, now. That it, well, uh -huh. no, it's not alchemy. Incredibly we call it strange. something different, and ours matters more. Is that oh, is that related to Snoo Snoo? <laughs> it, <laughs> <laughs> through the power of Snoo Snoo, we will summon another mic in this room. Yes. Okay. If it ain't Gina Carano, I ain't doing no Snoo Snoo at all. <laughs> y'all no killed, killed the bar. <laughs> all right, so, guys, in the next room, we have a couple of people, and they're going to actually be playing a game they never played before while we're doing the radio show. And we're going to be checking in with them periodically to see how they're doing, what they think of the game, and to get their opinion on some of the things that we're talking about in this room. Yep, okay. Yep, yep. Now, some of those people in the next room will also be cycling into this room to discuss uh, more of the topics in person, close and personal, eye to eye, table to table, microphone to microphone. Uh, snoo, snoo to snoo, snoo. Hold uh, up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh -uh. I'm not down with that. <laughs> so in the next room, guys, if you, if you uh, look to my... Uh, right in particular on on the video screen. Well, that's not my. Why? If you look, if you look one one above me, and one to the right, and what? Oh my God! It's, it's one to the left. Oh my God! If you look one above me and one to the left, that is live feed coming from the game room. 
those are our players, and they're playing a game called Salt and Sanctuary on this particular episode. Um, a game that's pretty much known for its kind of high, uh, links into the Dark Souls series, but it's a completely 2D game oh, and yeah. pixel art style. Yeah, yeah. So oh, not really pixel art, but close. Yeah, it's like take any Dark Souls or Bloodborne for that matter, and turn it into, like, a 2D platformer, and you'll Sounds have like Salt Sanctuary. <laughs> you know what? It amazes me how close they came to actually approximating Dark Souls, but in a two uh, locked in 2D. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So in this room, we have the person closest to the camera. Dwayne, what is going on, man? How you doing? Nothing much, nothing much. How's everybody? Uh, we're, we're doing pretty good out here. I'm still alive. Nobody's assassinated me yet. Not yet. <laughs> Even though I think Battle Bear's plotting over there. <laughs> hey, as long as you don't mess up. <laughs> <laughs> Behind him, uh, even wow, where'd Cameron go, actually? Stop hiding. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh no. Wow. There's Cameron. There, there's, oh, oh, God. Twist, miss. <laughs> I am here. Hey, hey, twist, twist, miss. Which is it? Miss, twist? Missed. Yeah. Miss. <laughs> Missed. 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 We have Missed over there. So, so Missed and Dwayne, they're going to be playing Salt and Sanctuary while we're in there talking about various topics. Um, we also have the chat going. If, anybody, if anybody's in the chat, don't feel left out. At a certain point, we will address you and talk to you and give you some feedback. Let you give us some feedback. And the world will go around and everything will be buttery smooth like we spread Nutella over all of the Pringles. Oh, you know, there are good every single Pringle. Oh, Pringle. Nah, son. <laughs> every single Pringle. <laughs> hey, don't knock it till you try it. People. I, I'm, hey, I'm not knocking it, but I want my Nutella on a I'm, sandwich I'm, or something. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> One little Pringle ain't going to satisfy me. Is I'm it going to be the entire stack? I want crazy. some Nutella. That's not even. Okay, so at least Adrian's with me. Chance, you're just nah, knocking it? Why? I'm to knock it, man. Nutella, that's like the same people who say, uh, Milkshakes and fish fries. I can't do it. Actually, what? I can't do it. Come on, chance. Ah, okay, no. I, 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 I got a channel with him on that that's one. Don't you stick no French fry in my that, Wendy's ice cream. That's, that's, that's a waffle right there. Guys, guys, guys. Nutella is just peanut butter. A rich person's peanut butter and chocolate together in some weird thing. No, it's not. Like, it's just no. chocolate. I, it's with, it's on potatoes. It's, it's like peanut butter. People treat it like peanut butter. People though. treat it like peanut butter, but it's not. I peanut. treat it like chocolate. But, chocolate. I treat it like I treat it like peanut butter and chocolate. It's okay. chocolate. Okay. <laughs> Sir, you're thinking about a Reese's <laughs> <laughs> or Snickers. It's, it's a liquefied you. Reese's. Can we agree <laughs> on that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Without uh, further ado, oh, let's let's get into this first segment. Uh, we, we're gonna we're gonna hit up some atomic news. All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, so do we start play? You're enjoying it. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, guys. If you're enjoying this radio show so far, give us some love. Tweet us out. Uh, link us on Facebook. Follow this channel. Tell other people about us. Let them know that the Atomic oh, Ultra is here. Spread the word. Spread the word. Join the Atomic Army. Tell your mammy. Yeah. Do we start playing? Tell, <laughs> tell your mammy. Of course you start playing. You guys can already go ahead and start playing Salt and Sanctuary. Oh. Get salty. Yeah. Get <laughs> Sanctuary. Oh, trust me. It's going to get very salty. Bro. Oh, all right. Very all right, guys. Salty indeed. All right, so coming up in the news, we have a bunch of stuff happened this week, man. A ton of stuff. In fact, uh, I was surprised when I finished this list. It was super long. And again, like we've been collecting news since forever, so maybe yeah. that's why as well. But, you know, one of the first things on the news list is Microsoft is going to war with Adware this coming month. Yeah. Oh, so how, how, are they, how are they going to war with Adware? What are they doing? Okay, well, just take over a little bit on this. Uh, what their main objective is that Microsoft is going to detect and remove any adware that may compromise your PC security. Okay. Now, from what they're saying, it's going to target adware that's okay. using the man in the middle or MITM techniques or other DNS settings. And this, I'm guessing it's going through like what your browser or anything like that automatically detects it and takes it out. So far, that's what they're saying. Now, how that's going disgusting. to really work? I'm not really sure. That's going to be kind of funny to see, especially for, you know, how some people are. They have like, what's it? The, uh, like the ad block. Yeah. A lot of yeah. people are using it and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if that's going to compromise with other people's settings and whatnot. And also with their, their antivirus, because I know I have a vast on uh, my computer and yeah. anything I have running in the background all day, it automatically takes it like, hey, yo, I don't like this. Turn it off or get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 to be honest, guys, I'm kind of worried, actually. Yeah. Well, too. Anytime a company says that they have software that automatically does anything, yeah, I get worried. Especially when yeah, uh, <sighs> I, I I want control over when that thing starts and when that thing ends. If you're just okay. doing it automatically in the background, you know what? Auto I think automatically it's going to slow down my computer, yeah. and I'm going to be like, "What's the computer? What's going on?" Oh. And I go to the, "Oh, you stupid!" 
That's what's going to happen. So hopefully Microsoft implements this thing that in a in a practical way. Yeah, true. I'm 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 hearing our people in the game room right now. Yeah, seems like they're. I'm here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, I just I just shut them off. Yeah, <laughs> we can't even hear them anymore. Even if we talk to them right now, they they're helpless. Yeah, that's right. They're helpless. Don't you they're even like, open that door. Don't you get, don't get, get off that door. door. Get off that door. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I forgot uh, uh, the magic thing I was going to show you guys earlier. Right. Oh, um, if you would just focus on the door for me, uh, really quick, Lorenzo, with the camera there. Look, that that's the magical door. That's the portal to another world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, people in the game room. Would you be so kind as to summon a microphone out here right quick? <laughs> should, should we do it? <laughs> they look so confused at the beginning. It's like, wait, what? Summon, hold up. Should, should we do some humming or should we? Mm. We, didn't, we didn't summon a person. Who messed up? We summoned a microphone. No, I mean the one with the blue, the one with the blue cord. Blue cord. Is that one still in there? Yeah, there we go. Cody, please grab that, sir. That is your prize. Is it is it long enough? Wrapped around camera. Okay, gotcha. Okay. We have some. You, you can get some. You can pull some more through the wall. It's it's pretty long. There, okay. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Get him with the Halo too. All right, uh, talking to that for a second. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cody, mm. say hello to the world. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we now we got cody uh all in on the fun yep 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 I, I would say our beginning preparation is complete we're not ready for the full journey oh no said, oh, nowhere near <laughs> nowhere near nowhere no. near what, what? no we're, we're just getting started what do you, i got oh, my nutella what do you got hold up <laughs> i ain't getting on nutella that's what you messed up <laughs> So oh, yeah. Microsoft doing the adware thing, and I'm uh, as Microsoft has done in the past. What I think they're going to do is they're going to build they're going to build it into a Windows update. Yeah. And with Windows 10, you can't turn off updates, so you're going to get it whether you like it or not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're going to force your hand on that. One. They're going to force your hand, and, and if they do it right, it's for the better. Now, okay. Microsoft, you know I mean? they've never been too pushy on their thing, uh, unlike Windows 8. Oh God, Windows 8. Restart your computer or we will for you in 30 seconds. <laughs> so it's coming out. Like, what are you? Windows 8. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. They they tighten their controls on Windows 10 a lot too. I just we have an update. You clearly only have an hour, and I don't care what you do. So just know. We just give you the heads up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So the next item on the list is, um, oh, mine didn't update. Did you take the Jamie Foxx thing off? Yeah, Jamie, uh, Jamie Foxx gone. Oh man, he Jamie, gone. Jamie Foxx isn't dead, guys. He, he didn't die. We're not starting that rumor right oh, here today. No, no, I'm saying he gone because the Spawn reboot. I don't know how it's gonna work. Yeah, he gonna he gonna have to uh, convince me. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe he can pull it off. Because uh, sure. what was it? Amazing Spider Man. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hey, I don't think that was his fault. Hey, <laughs> true. Listen. Now I give it to him when he, when he finally got into that mode yeah, of being. Was it uh, electro yeah. or whatnot? Mm -hmm. Then okay, it was working. Yeah. But the he was oh my god, he oh, noticed yeah. me. <laughs> 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 and the, the weird like little swivel of his hand. Mm -mm. No, I did not like it. I was creeped Wait. out for that entire time he was on the screen. <laughs> you didn't even like the part where he was like, "You need me." Okay, that was funny. <laughs> that part was funny. I enjoyed that. Wait, wait, that's really funny. That that was the best part of the right, wait, wait, what about the dubstep to his electric movements throughout the city? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why did that upset you, Jared? I was like... <laughs> <laughs> wait, so you didn't even like the dubstep Itsy Bitsy Spider? No, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I remember them bragging about their uh, music track right before the movie, and I just come in and I'm like, that was that was horrible. Oh <laughs> man, I I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I, I don't do you know. do you not like dubstep? Is uh, that the... It depends. It depends. Uh, a very okay. little Skrillex. Just a little bit. Okay. Just, <laughs> just a, a tiny sprinkle of Skrillex. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, okay. So, Jamie Foxx, I think he could actually do a good spawn, depending on the script. Yeah. I think he has the acting chops to pull it off. Um, I do like Michael Jai White. I think he did an awesome spawn back in the day. Oh, I wouldn't yeah. have mind if they got him again, actually. Yeah. Also a better yeah, 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 definitely. CGI wasn't ready for Spawn no. back yeah, in the day, yeah. you know. So it, it deserves a second chance, I think. It seemed like the cake. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would agree with that. Yeah, definitely. It looked awesome for a time. 
But it's like, oh, we don't have anymore. We can't do that. Shit. <laughs> that's it. We blew three million dollars on five seconds of cake. That's that's how this goes. <laughs> we should have got our. We should have outsourced our visual effects. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh the next thing on the list what what, what do we got adrian all right well i'm actually going to give it to my big man chance all here. right chance bring it yeah we got uh a- amd mm-hmm. is producing the first graphics card tailor made for virtual reality interesting um, people are really getting behind virtual reality it's really exciting it's just everyone's gearing toward it i really hope this doesn't flop I, oh, yeah i really I definitely hope this agree. doesn't flop hope it doesn't um after AMD opens up the door, and the video, all of them, they're all going to follow suit, yeah. uh, especially when VR gets more popular. We yeah. just need those first adopters to come in and, you know, support AMD for what, they, what they're doing, mm-hmm. and, you know, we'll get this dividend out. Yeah, just... and the adopters are going to be there, because let me tell you, this past week, um, Sony announced the uh, price uh, and the bundles that the PlayStation Experience or the PlayStation Virtual Reality headset for the PS4 would yeah. come in. And that thing sold out, man. It sold out. Amazon, it sold out on Amazon. They first they announced um, that they would be uh, releasing a bundle. Now the bundle has the headset in it, the breakout box that allows you to hook it to your regular TV, so people that aren't in the headset can see what you're doing. It also comes with uh, earbuds, and it also comes with well, uh, two PlayStation Move controllers, and it comes with a the we you know you guys remember how the we came with this um, mini yeah. game demo disc mm-hmm. you know it's like this is what you're in for this is mm-hmm. what you paid all this money yeah. uh, say again we sports. sports we sports that that was the name of it so you get all that for i think it was six hundred dollars uh four hundred four hundred no yeah. no 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 i'm talking oh, the bundle the oh, bundle, bundle? Oh, with the, the move bundle? controllers and i think the, the bundle is five hundred actually five hundred dollars yeah. okay then later on people were complaining because people were like oh and it comes with the camera too so people were complaining well, I got the camera when I bought my PS4. Like, why should I have to buy that again? I, I already have a move controller. So then they were like, okay, okay. The, the unit just by itself, just the headset breakout box, $400. $400. The right. cheapest of the big boy you, uh, virtual reality experiences yet, actually. So um, that sold out, uh, uh, what, the uh, HTC Vive, which they're working on with Valve. Uh, that's about to come out, actually. That's going to be $800, though. Mm. Really steep. Now, granted, that vibe, man. It that looks really good. Yeah, I'm and, really looking forward to the vibe. And it's doing some new things. Yeah, like it. Eight hundred dollars gets you the vibe headset. It gets you these new um controllers that have better sensors, and it can sense uh, accelerometers. It can sense three D movement, all that stuff. It also gets you what the other VR headsets aren't doing. It gets you two sensors that you mount up on your walls, and these sensors allow you to actually get up out your seat. And yeah. walk around your room in a VR world. They can sense where your body is in 3D space. Yeah. You shouldn't buy the vibe. <laughs> if you live in the closet, you should probably just stick to a regular VR headset where you just sit in a seat. Is it a cardboard home. box operatable? Will, um, it, will it function in my cardboard box behind the Denny's? It should. Does your cardboard yeah. box have power? <laughs> this is important. Um, so I you siphon it from Denny's. Okay, okay, as long as you're getting okay. it from somewhere. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Now you siphon it from the sign from the actual generator. <laughs> There's a difference. We have to know. Now, you know what? I would actually go to, as far as to say, if you're living in a box, uh, getting a VR headset probably shouldn't be your first uh, order of business. <laughs> okay. You should probably take care of real world problems first, oh, yeah. and then get that VR headset. Yeah, I live to game, and I gain to live. Okay. Okay. That's what oh, all right, go all me. <laughs> Cody, Cody, are you are you getting one of these VR headsets, Cody? Mm, I know. I, I, <laughs> I tell you what, Cody, we're going to take you to Best Buy, and we, we're going to scrap. We're going to scrap you in. We, they got they have a demo, a kiosk set up, yeah. where they have the uh, Samsung uh, Gear, yeah. VR Gear, which is a, a the little brother of the Oculus Rift. Um, cost a hundred dollars, and it relies on your phone. You put your yeah. phone in the little front part. And it it's actually a legit VR experience. Oh yeah, it, I, as legit as Google Cardboard. No, way better than Google Cardboard. Actually, <laughs> like imagine imagine um way better screen fidelity. Uh huh. So you can hardly pick out the pixels. It's clear as hell. The accelerometer is really good. And since the little enclosure is made for your phone, as soon as you scrap it on, it eliminates all light. 
And not only that, but the viewing distance is pretty wide. The field of view is pretty wide. So it's really so, good. So it's, it's really safe nice. to say that it's a step up from cardboard. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. completely. Okay, cool. That's good to hear. Now I'm saying if you if you live in cardboard, actually, you might want to make a Google Cardboard thing. Yeah. yeah. Since you already have an uh, ample supply yeah. of cardboard, <laughs> go for it. You're not losing anything. You know what I mean? And in fact, you're home. gaining. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is the year of VR. Like, and I say that because this is the year they're going to try to push it. Oh, if yeah. it fails or not, well, we'll see. But at least they're giving it their best shot. You yeah. know what I mean? They're not half-assing it. VR will come out this year. Whether we like it or not. Yep. <laughs> it's going to punch you in the face. So <laughs> Too quick. So <Yeah>. hard. <laughs> so Radeon AMD is doubling down on this, and they're actually making a full graphics card to support this. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say that's a smart move because one of, the, one, of the, one of the things actually affecting the Oculus Rift right now is you have to have a powerful-ass PC oh, yeah. to run the oh, Oculus Rift. Oh. You know, so oh, even yeah. if you have a gaming machine that's a couple of years old, you're probably not powerful enough. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So if they have a graphics card that would take on most of those, most of those, uh, most of that uh, processing power mm -hmm. uh, and your mm -hmm. computer can be a little, a little less powerful, then that's yeah. going to be great. Good on you, AMD. Good luck, sir. Mm -hmm. And I hope the product turns <laughs> out well. I trust you. You've been doing this a while. So <laughs> I need to start beating the video with something. I <laughs> Who knows? Uh, let's see what's next on the list here. Well, this um, actually goes right in the hand of what you were just talking about. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, so I'm pretty sure everybody's thinking like, oh, man, I don't think my computer can handle it. Mm -hmm. Well, Valve may be coming to save the day. Oh, All right. oh how? Yeah. Right. So what Valve is working on is making a VR, well, not really VR ready machine, but making a setting to where you can set your computer to, I guess, minimal specs mm -hmm. that you can actually be able to use the VR headset. And you won't need the super high end graphics card on there. Interesting. So for what they're proposing, uh -huh. any card that is as old as the GTX 680 okay. will be good for using VR. Wow. Huh. Now, so that's their idea. Right now, at the moment, they're not sure how they're going to implement <laughs> it. We have an idea. They're, they're, uh, currently, like, they're still working on it. And who knows you know, how long this is going to go. Hopefully, you know. Gabe will give us you know, the almighty Lord good Gabriel. hand and whatnot and probably <laughs> not try to steal our well no I mean come on now it's game as soon as Steam sales hit everybody's losing money right. <laughs> everybody's losing money but I mean we'll see we'll see how it goes but uh, right now yeah Valve is pushing for everything to work well okay okay well um okay so I'm still screwed so, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I, I have a, a, yeah, I, it sounds confusing now, but you know, from what they were saying in their notes, <laughs> it's, but, that's their idea at least. Okay. <laughs> so, so I have a 560 Ti. Uh -huh. That's oh. a generation before the 680. Oh. Yeah. So I, there's no hope. Oh. I gotta go. I still gotta go with the Man. PlayStation Experience. Uh -oh. <laughs> All I know is that our Lord and Savior Gabe Noah has a plan. And he's going to try his best. He's trying to save us. Yeah, he's trying to save us. He's going to ascend from Valve headquarters in Seattle and give us the heavenly blessings <laughs> of, of a VR headset for us that can't afford eight hundred dollars. And don't forget the Steam sales. That, that Steam Just sales, yeah. Like Prepare your wallet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see what else. What else we got? Uh, the PS4 is getting an update soon. Yeah, the uh, 4.5. And then for that, I think we need to bring our good buddy Dwayne in. Okay. Right. Dwayne, Dwayne, I summon thee. Come over from the gaming room, sir. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can just hang on in there. What, 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 what was that? Oh, oh. oh I was for charging. <laughs> Dwayne, how are you, sir? Would I get the thing? D Wizzle. D Wizzle. Oh, there you go. You, you settled in, sir. You good? I uh, think so. So how, how's it going? Fine, how's the fine. game going in there? More importantly, uh, besides camera saying it's working, it's working, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Actually, pretty good. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know it was gonna have multiplayer. In yeah. It. yeah, I mean that's surprise surprise to me actually. Oh I, yeah, I definitely. just started playing as the knight or whatever thing they, um, whoever um Cameron hired, one of the um different classes. Oh okay. Well, sir, uh, so we have saying, we have a question for you. <laughs> Supposedly, you know more about this uh, PS4 getting up here, too. Oh, God, don't say that. Did I summon the wrong man? Uh, you you may have, sir. Oh, man. Well, I, I apologize for our, our listening viewers. I fumbled. 
Well, I know a little bit about that, actually. Okay, okay, okay. So PS4 is getting an update soon. Um, it's supposed to actually be getting the PS4 ready for the PlayStation VR experience. Okay. It's also going to add some quality of life uh, additions to the PS4. Um, certain menu items. It's going to give you certain menu options. Uh, it's also going to add in, what was it, the ability to... Uh, do, 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 do. You're missing one big one. Oh, I know what he's talking oh, about. Man. The remote play. Can, can it make play. coffee? No. Really? Oh, I wish, though. Man. God, I wish. Sony promised that at E3. I just take my Keurig cup and just stuff it in there and be like, make me like that. <laughs> You get that Sony coffee. Mm, even better. So so what was the big one I was missing? Uh, the remote play mm-hmm. coming to the uh, Windows PC and Mac. And yes, okay. Like you did? He you did? did? No. Yes, hold on. Yes, yes, <laughs> I thought it was like something like complete. And I was like, wait, what? So, like, you, one? so you know why that's not big to me, right? Why? Because it's already here. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, okay. So, what they mean by remote play is that uh, Sony has a remote play feature built into the PS4. If mm-hmm. you have a PS Vita or if you have a Sony smartphone, you're mm-hmm. able to actually uh, scream your PS4's video to those devices mm-hmm. and play them from there. You can hook a controller up via Bluetooth and you can play your PS4 on the go. Mm-hmm. So, um, the good internets out there, the people of the internets, mm-hmm. my loves, mm-hmm. my opportunities, they have, in all their goodness and graciousness, Hacked a program so that <laughs> you could do that. I was waiting for the build up there. <laughs> so a person already cracked the Android app that Sony only had exclusively for, play- for PlayStation phones, and it works on any modern Android phone now. Mm. So all you got to do is go Google this stuff. I'm not telling you where to go, guys. Google this stuff. You will find the APK. And if you don't know what an APK is, you got more Google than to do. <laughs> you look for the look for the 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 PlayStation Remote APK. And this will allow you to actually cast your video from your PS4 onto any Android phone. The other thing is a separate person. And I think actually, you know what? I think he was a part of the group that made the app for the phones. He found a way to take that APK and make it work on regular PCs, regular Windows operating system. So now you can actually cast your PS4 video to your computers. Oh, all right. So it's already happening. Sony just I think, you know what? They're probably sitting in the office and they're like, Hey, uh, you know, so what are our options to make more money? Well, we could always take the remote play thing and make it work on PC. And this one little tech guy came running. He's like, it's already on there. And they're like, what? Wait, it's, it's already doing it. Like, what's? Oh, we got to make it official. We got to make it official now. Let's get our money in. But the, the, the weird thing is the guy that made it, he is charging 10 bucks. So, oh, wow. you know, which I think is reasonable. He, he did program the thing. He made it work. Maybe a little less than 10 bucks. But he did the job. Hey, the guy. Like, <laughs> I'm not that heartless that I want everything for free. You right, know what I mean? True. Like, if you do a good job and the program works and it makes life convenient mm-hmm. for me, I'm willing to throw a couple of bucks to you, a couple of rupees, a couple of trident layers, you know, whatever. <laughs> some trident layers. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> some Jolly Ranchers? <laughs> what are you going to do for me? I throw some Jolly Ranchers at you. Uh, I get angry. The thing's on. Now, I'll give him a little soft one, a little gummy one. Oh, okay. Give him I, gummy. Yeah, those, right. those are good. Those are good, man. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, you know, also. <laughs> also linked to Sony, uh, we have a bit of bad news. Um, mm-hmm. Sony recently shut down one of their, I would say one of their more popular studios from last gen on the PS3. Um, right. The guys that were responsible for MotorStorm, did they do anything else? I'm a big fan of that game. Motor- MotorStorm is a solid racing game, actually. I was impressed with the graphics uh, when I used to see it on the kiosks being played at Walmart and Best Buy. Mm-hmm. Then I finally got my hands in it. I was like, this is a pretty fun racing game. I like uh-huh. this. Um, Evolution Studios, the people responsible for MotorStorm and also this generation on PS4, they were responsible for the beautiful game that had all those problems at launch. Mm. Drive Club. Feel so sorry for you. Mm-hmm. It's in better shape these days, but man, Drive Club was so rough at launch. Yeah, very. I had, I had, I had, I had, I had mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was sad. I mean, we, we came out, but I was. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think majority of us were looking forward to Drive Club. Yeah. Uh, well, me, not too much, because, you know, I guess I wasn't, like, really into the whole driving thing at that point, because I still had Asphalt 8 on my phone. So that was my, my need for speed, my burnout, and everything <laughs> else in between. Yeah, but just hearing it from friends about how everything was going on, it, it didn't really appeal to me. Then just watching it spiral since launch was terrible. Uh, JR, did you get a chance to play Drive Club at all? Any? I did not actually. Um, mm. it, I was disheartened on it. 
I went. In fact, I think I actually did purchase the game at some point. I just haven't played it. I haven't had the heart to. Yeah, I, I hear you. But okay, so I was one of the people. I was really excited about Drive Club is because when Sony first announced it, um, they said they were going to release a free version for PS Plus subscribers. Yep. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Called Drive Club PS Plus Edition. Mm-hmm. That right. So I was waiting on that. Mm-hmm. I was excited because I was ready to get my next gen race on. You know what I mean? Uh, so the day came when that game was supposed to come out. And boy, the servers did not like it. The <laughs> servers, nothing was working online with that game to the point where Sony had to cancel that. They had to delay it, and they were like, oh, guys, man, this is so messed up. We, we can't give it to you right now. I know we promised it to you. And that went on for at least, I would say, two months, maybe some change after that. Yeah. But it was in a bad way. Finally, um, you know, Sony gave Evolution Studios some time. They found the problems. They fixed it. They released a couple of DLC uh, packs for it, cars, tracks for free to make up for all the bad stuff that happened at launch. And uh, the game got on the right track. Drive Club is a solid racing game. Currently. Now. Currently. Yeah. yeah. So that means I can actually go ahead and install the one I already purchased and play it? Yes. But it has a pretty big patch. Mm. But you have fast internet, so you, you oh, don't yeah, have to worry yeah, about that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so game. Evolution Studios, I guess now that they've kind of uh, righted all their wrongs, it's kind of horrible that Sony comes to them and they're like, yeah, we're going to let you guys go. <laughs> well, I'm sure, I'm sure they, just, they may not have gotten fired, but just dispersed. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Usually, those developers will probably end up the people that worked at that developer will end up at other developers. Yeah. Right, I mean, right, right. Like, uh, what was that uh, the game that they were talking about a while ago with uh, where you can do pretty much whatever? It's the, um, it's the, I can't remember. Dream, the dream one. Yes, is that it? Oh no, no. not the one that that one. This one hasn't released yet because they were expecting the guys behind Evil Speed. Hmm. Um, they were making uh, another game, but it wasn't necessarily a car racing game. Car racing game. Mm-hmm. Um. No. Yeah, I'm not sure. It. But we can look it up. We got computers. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you know, goodbye Evolution Studios. You made some great games. Uh enjoyed the time I spent with your games and uh hopefully everybody that worked at Evolution Studios finds another place just as awesome as that studio or even better to work mm-hmm. at in the future. We like yeah. to call that awesomer. Awesomer. Sure. awesomer. Yes. Gotcha. Yes, they employ more awesomeite in their minerals. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see what's going on here. Next up, um, NVIDIA recently released an app that you can download to your Windows PCs to see if your computer is VR ready. So in case you're ready to have that disappointment weighing heavily on your shoulders, go download that app and give it a go. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm kind of afraid to do it on mine because, well, I kind of want to do VR, mm-hmm. but I know that's not like the super high end in yeah. there. I think like the video card that I have in there. It's like a GTX, maybe like seven fifty. Yeah, probably. I mean that's still good though. Yeah, it's still good, but the other aspects of it though, <laughs> it's like, is this going to destroy my processor or not? I mean, no, yeah. it's a quad core, but it's like a high five quad core. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, if, if I don't know if this will come for you at all, any, but like usually games of these days, they're heavier on your graphics card than they are on your processor. Okay. So if your graphics card is beasty, chances are you'll be able to launch the game even if your processor looks a little undercooked for that particular title. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, now, me, on the other hand, all this is going to do for me is confirm the crappiness <laughs> of my yeah, computer. Dude, like, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I need to see it in person. I need to see the crappiness, and then I'll know there was never a chance. Right, there was never hope. Um, <laughs> that's why I'm spending $400 on this PlayStation experience <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh, man, let's see. What's going on next in the news here? Some weirdness. Ooh. Speaking of VR. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Adrian, you want to take this one? I, oh, oh, really? So mm-hmm. you're going to have me handle the porn hub? Oh, so. yeah. All right, yeah. Fine. <laughs> so you're going to put me on the spotlight. Mm-hmm. Hi, Mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, the porn hub, one of the best selling, uh, what you want to call it, uh, porn, porn site or whatever and whatnot. The best selling porn site. <laughs> well, whatever. Most browse porn site. I don't know. I don't <laughs> go on porn hub, man. <laughs> it's like a tube, right? Is it's, it more like a tube, like how YouTube is? They have a major uh, I, collaborate. I guess. I think yeah. so. I, I think so. I think they are actually number one yeah. when yeah. it comes Wait, to porn sites. Yeah. Porn period. Or yeah. 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 Th- yeah. Uh, porn in general. I don't know. I don't watch porn often. I'm just gonna say that now. <laughs> but anyway, moving on from that. Weirdness. Every day I'm <laughs> <laughs> Every day you lotion it. Huh? What? What was that? It hits lotion the skin it. and then it goes. <laughs> I can even bring this topic. <laughs> look, don't I look at me. I, I, know I didn't you, add that. I know it's you, Dequan. I, I didn't add that. It, it that was, was you? That was it. Oh, so the cameraman did it. The cameraman <laughs> set me up. Put the cameraman. All right. 
It's the Atomic Ultra show. We were going to cover it regardless. Yeah, one of true. us, of all the personalities <laughs> in this group, one of us is going to find it. And you threw it at the most <laughs> angry. <one. laughs> For good reason. Uh, okay. <laughs> but basically what they did, they've made a VR channel. Okay. So, for, you know, for all you people who want that, uh, that up close and personal experience <laughs> of, you know, someone giving you a little, uh, uh, a little bit of sucking fuck around. <laughs> Oh goodness! Gonna, oh my God! They gonna feel it though. You just gonna see it. No, no, they feel it if they got the right stuff for it. Actually, <laughs> yeah, there are toys so you could feel it. No, yeah, see. Uh oh. Oh, it comes with that. It comes with their little. Yeah, because I know they had a package. Yeah, it had a it had a package that you can purchase. What are you serious? Yes, I'm scared now. Wow. It's seriously a package. I'm glad I'm do you have a picture of this? I that... do not. Wait, actually, <laughs> I will have a picture. <laughs> oh God. Will. Later. All right, so so Jr is getting a picture of it right now. Right. Uh, so is is this gonna? Are any of you guys gonna actually uh, test this out? No. no. Gonna test drive. <laughs> no. no. Uh. Uh-uh. Now I know maybe some viewers might do it, but um, you know, hey, no, no disrespect. It's, to y'all. Ju- it's just the next step up. That's quite a right. step up. It's gonna be like what? Uh, what was that commercial where they were making fun of how VR was going to be with the uh, the walking uh, pad, the VR headset, and the, yeah. and the mom yeah. walks in on the guy yeah. just sitting there watching with nothing but nonstop porn surrounding him. He's like, <laughs> "Mom, stop! What are you doing? I'm just, uh, I'm strapped to everything. I'm trying to do homework. Get out!" <laughs> it was like, "No, you weren't. No, you weren't. Don't don't lie. Come on now. You know how weird that'll be." <laughs> so okay, so so Adrian, what's up? Um, you know, you got a beat, beatbox master over there. I want you to sort of give me a porn beat. And we're gonna to try to recreate Hold up. what it might sound like mm. when you have your VR headset on and you go to enter the virtual porn section of Pornhub. Mama, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can you can give me a clean beat. I'll make it nasty. <laughs> what? Where's <laughs> <What? laughs> our buddies at PSA when we need the most? Oh, oh, God, they, oh. they would do it. So here we here we go. Oh, this there's, there's a guy named Tommy. He's 17 years old. He just got home from high school. His parents got him a PlayStation VR experience for Christmas, and he's about to test it out. Nobody's home, so he feels like this is the prime time to get on. What? What happened? It's off. Oh, the TV just turned off. Yeah, they're over there breaking stuff. Oh, you can, you can turn it back on. The lights on, so that means you, yeah, there you go. All right. Okay, um. So- yeah. So Adrian, give me that beatbox. Give Give me a nice little like chill porn beat. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Right, so there, oh, that's what it looks like. We have a uh, huh? Shadow oh Lewis God, what the hell? That's the whole set. That's that, the whole. That's wow, disturbing. That's that, oh, that, oh, wait, oh, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, <laughs> I'm, I'm messing up. So, so, how much does this does this cost? Uh, price didn't say actually. Interesting. Very I was interesting. Not going to the to find out. <laughs> I'm sure they were all about some kind of deal. Uh, does it offer your deal? I'm, I'm sure there's <laughs> one. There's always a deal. Oh, oh, this is so God. weird. I, I'm not judging you guys out there, but this is just, it seems like too much. Too much responsibility. Bruh. Too Just- much time. Too much effort. You know? <laughs> Bruh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's, that definitely, that could have gone in the weird news section easily. Yeah. <laughs> that, wow. How man. did that not end up in the weird news section? Because it felt like we regular news. Like, <laughs> we weren't thinking. I, you yeah, saw VR. True. I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I saw oh, VR. You saw VR and porn. I saw VR and we were talking about so much VR news. I was like, I should probably just put it in this section oh, with the VR man. stuff. It's Virtual Reality Week, guys, and of course, porn's in it. Yeah, we're bringing it back. <laughs> we're bringing it back. Oh my god, we're bringing it back, thrust and all. If oh, you guys, god. if you guys would like, we get enough comments. My maybe you would see a lot of uses <laughs> of it. At That's some true, point. guys. Guys, I'm, I'm going to say this right now, guys. If we get over uh, 500 followers, 500 subscribers. Um, you actually get to see one of us test this thing out. <laughs> Battle Bears volunteer. God damn it, I knew it. <laughs> How did I know you was gonna volunteer before? <laughs> How did I know? Um, let's see what what else is going on in the news. Uh, now that you guys know how to relax and how to chill. Oh my god. Just a little bit. Oh, we didn't finish our little our little intro actually. So if you get the PlayStation VR headset, you get that whole package. You get the little fake butt. All that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Working butt. I'm sorry. No, you get the v- the, the Pornhub bundle. <laughs> this is what we're calling it, I guess. Um, Adrian, give me that. Give me that beat again. Welcome to the Pornhub virtual reality bundle. We're about to give you the experience of your life. So put the headset on and let us amaze you and amaze your balls. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I had to go all the way in, guys. You don't do this stuff right, halfway. You don't go in half. You don't go <laughs> You're going in half ass. You go full force. Oh, oh, so. uh, oh, man. <laughs> Oh my goodness! You guys are crazy. You I'm are, we are crazy. You guys are crazy. You don't want to talk about you going balls deep. <laughs> I, that's the Pornhub people, okay? <laughs> and and I'm not against the Pornhub. If you want to sponsor us, go right ahead. Oh man, I got no shame. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, in other news, um. Uh, there was supposed to be a uh, Venom spinoff to the last Spider-Man movie. Yeah. And yeah. that got canceled or at least ended up in development hell. But recently news came out that it is back on. Yep. So we could be seeing a standalone Venom movie. What do you guys think about that? Uh, mm, they better do it. Producing. Well, yeah. Uh, they didn't have any of that stuff. Yeah. They just said that it's back on. We're actually working on it again. It's coming up. Man, well. Who would you I want to produce it? That's the question. Because... Mm. Wait, what were you saying, Cody? I hope it's a good movie. Oh, yeah, definitely. that's true. I hope yeah. it will turn out good. Yeah. I would like a Venom movie actually directed by Guillermo del Toro. Oh, I think that would be an interesting that Venom movie. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, at least my thoughts on it. If they plan on doing the, the whole Sinister Six thing on there, then they're mm-hmm. definitely going to have to do that. Yeah. But if for everybody else, a part of Sinister Six, mm, mm. I don't know how that's going to go. Mm. I think I don't. Are they going to try to like, do a full thing of anything involving Shocker? Because I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. dude, they have to have him in there because everybody's going to be waiting on his. Every time he enters the scene, he always shocker, <laughs> shocker. <laughs> you know, like Doctor Agnes really doesn't say anything. He'll go like, "Oh, Mister Parker, right. what are you?" Yes. And he comes in on his eight legs. You, you know, hear his ting, ting, Raven ting, flies yeah. in like. Meh. You know, he, I thought it was Vulture. Oh vulture. yeah. Oh my! I keep getting them mixed up. I call Raven Vulture Vulture Raven like. No, uh, sue me, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> you really want that? No, no. Keep no. keep your lawyers to yourself. I don't have any. <laughs> um, but no. So you got you got Vulture, you got Doctor Ah, you got Mysterio, which is my favorite. He always yeah. has that echo in his voice. He sounds like he's about to die every time he talks. <laughs> Mysterio. <laughs> Mysterio. Oh, man. <laughs> um, then you have uh, who else? Who am I mixing? Scorpion. Yeah. Scorpion. Dude yes. that spits asses out of the tail, backpack on his back. Mm-hmm. Then you have there's one more, right? He's is that all six? He's the well, I, it, Goblin. The yeah. No, the goblin's not goblin's is it, is it, it, Yeah, Rhino. Rhino. Rhino, yeah. Rhino. Yes. Rhino. I, you, why, I never no, do not bring that rhino up. <laughs> Bro, that rhino was hilarious. That I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that rhino in the last Spider Man movie was awfully oh, awful, but awesomely awful. But it was hilarious. I hit there, right? Come on now. That blown head. That, yeah, that's all it was with a floating head. Floating head, post production. Come on yeah. now. What yeah. y'all doing? <laughs> it was almost like they weren't even done with the movie. <laughs> no, it exactly. felt it felt rushed. Mm-hmm. If that last part felt tacked on the, the last Spider Man movie and oh, Andrew, yeah. Andrew Garfield. Yeah, definitely. Also, how did that little boy juke everybody? <laughs> Who knows, man? You know, I wish I wish Spider Man wouldn't have come uh, out and stopped that little boy. I would like <laughs> to see him get rocked, <laughs> and then the movie ends like that. That would have been amazing. He's like, uh, I'm Spider Man now, and then Rhino's just like, okay, <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man's dead. Continues <laughs> rampage. Oh, that'd be wow. crazy. And then people are like, wake up, wake up. You okay, little boy? Ding, 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 ding. Really? Ding, ding. Yeah, <laughs> guys, you, you, you. Sure. That's a reference to what we're going to talk about later with this the Batman versus Superman review because we saw that yesterday. Oh yeah. Oh god, that movie. Anyway, so uh, next up in the news, we uh, speaking of movies that are back on track. Uh, this one is actually on track and it's actually speeding off of the track because it's, it's going so fast. The Assassin's Creed movie. Yeah. It's coming out soon. It has um, what's that guy's name in it? Uh, the guy that plays Magneto. In the X Men movies, the new X Men movies. Uh, what's it? Uh, Michael. Mike. It's Michael Fassbender. Yeah, there. You yes. Go. He's he's supposed to play the lead character in the Assassin's Creed movie. But that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is they're already working on the sequel because they think this Wait, movie what? is amazing. <laughs> yes. Oh God. See, no. Now I don't want this to come out. <laughs> I, I'm not on the fence with that. They're pulling the Ubisoft right now. But it's like, oh, we already know this game is going to sell millions. Let's work on the, the other sequel. two sequels. Why we're still working on this one? <laughs> It's the best idea ever. Boy, no, they're gonna be so sad when <laughs> the first movie doesn't hit. I know, right? If oh, I go to that see that movie and his face is imploding and all I see is floating eyes in a mouth, yeah. I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, actually, I think I would watch it because it's so close to the original. 
True. True. <laughs> you be like, I am down with this. Be the like, original. Damn, they got this spot on. <laughs> if the movie is anything like the original Assassin's Creed, it's going to be great at the beginning. People are going to be like, wow, this is a great concept. And towards the middle, they're going to be like, oh, it's still really good. And as it gets past the middle, you're going to be like, oh, this is boring as hell. Like, he just killed you doing the same, same exact thing. <laughs> <laughs> is this the same scene I just saw five That's minutes like ago? Let's not forget the last Ubisoft game. I mean, last Ubisoft game that became more. What's the last Ubisoft? Prince, Prince of Persia was decent. That wasn't that I've bad. I've never seen it, so I haven't really I had so much pain. I have seen it. it got yep. I'll, I'll say this. In the realm of Ubisoft video game uh, video games to movies, Prince of Persia good. It wasn't terrible. Well, it wasn't I, terrible. I am a fan of James. And that's saying a lot. I, I I, uh, although I won't, I'm not a fan of some of his other works. But Bro, Jake. Mm. Jake Gyllenhaal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <I am. laughs> Look, we don't, we don't speak of that. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> what 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 is what are you guys talking about Donnie Darko? I like Donnie. Oh, no, I love Donnie Darko. Oh okay. It's just uh, the Same other one. That, uh, oh okay. I don't speak of which one. Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback Mountain. Oh, I didn't. He was in Brokeback Mountain. Yeah. Oh yeah, I he didn't know was. that. Back oh Mountain. wow, he was in Mountain. Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't see that movie. I still haven't seen it yet. So. Okay. That movie's on the same list for me as Magic Mike. Well, I just. I don't need to see it. I don't need to see it. Magic Mike was not about scripting at all. It's what? There were strippers, but it was not about. Was it game. about magic? <laughs> it wasn't even about magic. Was, was it, it all about Mike? It was about Mike. Well, what, what was, was Mike doing? Stripping? Well, I am. I don't want to see it. There were sequences of male stripping. I won't lie, but then it was kind of like regular story. Like I also a, think I don't want to see story. it because I have a ball, uh. have a, a group, or a set of balls. Yeah, 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 me too. I just, me not I, I just, I just, I'm not programming the movie. I'm not programmed that way. I just don't want to see a bunch of men scripting. Yes. It wouldn't yeah, do anything for me. You know, so. kind of awkward sitting in the movie theater at that point. Oh, God, you went to the movie theater? Yeah, I was forced to go. How did you oh, do wow. that? Oh, wow. That's terrible. You got to tell us the story of yes, that. It, it, Cody, could you hand him the oh, mic back? Right oh, I got you. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. That's what. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. So you, you did it for it was a sacrifice. someone else. Gotcha. It was a sacrifice. He did it for okay. the nookie. <laughs> 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 oh, the truth be told, <laughs> like that's exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm like the, oh only, the only way I would actually go see Magic Mike is if they actually start casting Magic. It's like a Harry Potter thing. Like I'm like, okay, yeah, I can go with this. <laughs> Whips off the shirt, his whole chest disappears. They're like, yeah. oh, what the hell happened? He just he's just like Leviosa while his pecs are shaking. Leviosa. Oh <laughs> he's already turned to a Harry Potter. <laughs> Well, no, not Harry Potter. Only G, only G cartoon. Only G. That's All what it's going to turn it into. <laughs> so, so keeping it, keeping in theme with the with the movie news, um, the next Tomb Raider movie is said to be inspired by the latest video games. Uh, uh really? Who, who is going to be? Well, you know what? Since they got a real actor to be the Laura Croft in the video game, they should probably just get that same yeah. actor. Well, see, you you would like to hope that, mm-hmm. but a lot of times, there's a lot of games. Of, um, I want to say movies and. Everything associated with it has showed mm-hmm. us that's never really the case. That's For some true. reason, they always find this actor or actress that they think is this is hot shit. This person is hot shit. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put a wig on them. Yeah. Or in some, <laughs> case, and in some cases, they don't even bother with it. They're just like, there you go. Get in there. You're popular, right? right? You like video games? No? Who cares? Get in there. Get in yeah, there. It's like, work. what? The main character has blonde hair? We can do brown. Brunette is fine. <laughs> what are you, redhead? That's work. That'll work too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is going there. Take, show, like, can you take your time off a little bit? No. Oh, it's a dude. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's what's what is this video game about? It's about this hot, sexy vampire chick, and she chops people up, and she's just trying to kill like Hitler and shit. Buttering? <laughs> yeah, exact thing so, I was thinking. So there's like, okay, like who's the cheapest, like kind of hot female actor we can get? Okay, cool. And they didn't go wrong there. It was actually a decent actor. The guy is like, oh, okay, this this lady is not like a list material, but she's a good B high C. It's better than some of the later games. Oh, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. So they got her. Then they got they got the one of the worst directors, Uwe <laughs> Boll. Uwe Boll, man. Shots fired. This yeah. every time you say this director's name, people that don't even know who he is, they wonder how he keeps getting movies. <laughs> like they're just like, that, how does he keep? He made, he made another one last year, didn't he? What is he doing? Is he is he like praying to a demon god? <laughs> like how is he getting his? Movie? <laughs> like if you give me the next Silent Hill movie, man, I'll give you everything I got, man. I eat all the skittles, all the skittles, <laughs> even the white ones, so. even the white skittles. Jesus, <laughs> the white mystery. <laughs> but yeah, so um, the, the the actor they got to actually do the voice and they actually performance captured her likeness. 
for the uh, latest Tomb Raider games. Mm -hmm. If they get her, I think she could really do well. The thing is, is she good at acting? Mm. She's she's originally an actor. She's not. She's originally an actor. You can be one, but that doesn't mean you're good at it. (laughs) (laughs) Is she actually? Uh, You can look her up. Her name's Camilla something. Camilla. Camilla. I forgot. Camilla. uh, Wow, just look up Camilla Tomb Raider. It's going to come up. <laughs> okay. But she's originally an actor, and I think she's a really good one. She's from okay. a popular TV show and whatnot, and they got her to do Tomb Raider. Only, the only problem I see popping up is that she is not that tall, fit kind of build that you imagine Laura Croft to be. Well, right. She looks kind of like a short kind of... That's, that's okay. Hey, well, I, mean, think so? long she has, I think it'll be fine long she, because what mainly people come in there for is mm-hmm. the hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the yeah. rat yeah. and the tail mm-hmm. and the butt. I can't forget that. Them booty shorts. Oh, booty shorts. Booty booty shorts. Booty oh wait, wait. C- uh, C- C- Cam- Camilla Luddington. Camilla, Camilla Luddington. Luddington. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, am I the only person here that kind of like the host the way it accentuated the booty? Yes, because no, I was no, like, that's yeah. Yeah, if you're a dude, you probably like the way the host accentuated the booty. I don't, and that's my default. Don't leave our lesbian fans out too. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like butts, period. There you go. If you like butts and you cannot lie. Because <laughs> other brothers can't deny. <laughs> Wait, can, can we use that over the air? We get well, too late. It's already there now. Yeah, they actually switched. They switched her. Yeah. Uh, Abigail Schrosky. Shall 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. So it's not Camilla Luddington in the latest Tomb Raider game. What I'm looking at is not those two. I mean, Camilla Luddington in the movie or in the next game. Oh, the next game, not the ones that are out. Well, is Rise of Tomb Raider out already? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, on it's, the, it's out on Xbox One. Yeah, it came out. Yeah. Xbox One yeah. just yeah. recently came well, out for Steam. It's, it's. I can't say that last name. <laughs> <laughs> say that last name. We won't force Hard you to. to. Pronounce but hey, Jared, if you want to pull up a picture of oh. Camilla Luddington, I think she has. She can do it. She can do a Tomb Raider. Yeah. If she, if they, if they don't go with her, then obviously they're getting paid or they're they're worshiping the same demon god that Uva Bowl is. Okay. And Look, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the booty. <laughs> If her booty just isn't enough, it's more precious than water. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's right. I'm with that. <laughs> How dare you bring booty juices into this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh, um, did you do? So while he's gathering that, um, mm. Universal Studios, they're doing a Nintendo themed area in their um their park. Really? Oh, yeah. So is it a case like, where oh. they're is it a case where they're shutting down one part of their park and repurposing it, or they're adding a new piece? I believe that they're adding a new piece. Interesting. Too, All Nintendo themed stuff. All Nintendo mm-hmm. themed. Huh. Anybody got any favorites they wish would show up at that particular? Oh, uh, just as long as you don't put the part in there where you step on turtles. I don't even. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. So so uh, our 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 steamed. Uh, live video editor JR just put a picture of Camilla Luddington as her Tomb Raider character, and I think she could do it actually. That's actually, yeah, I think she, she could, could pull could it. Do it too. Yeah, I, don't okay. know. I think I could kind of see what you're talking about there. Her frame is different. Yeah, just her facial frame and stuff like that, like that, and then you can kind of tell for the rest of her body is not quite. Yeah, cool. sure you get what I'm saying? But that, that's but that, that's all stuff. I think that she can work on. Yeah, you well, not she can work on, but like once you watch the movie, there's certain things you automatically let go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you dismiss them immediately. You know what I mean? Like you just go. Know. She okay. has that. She has the survive. But like, I mean, she doesn't have that survival look. Well, I think as soon well, as I mean, I mean, of course, from she, the beginning of the game, she didn't even have that survival look. It happened immediately. See, it happened. It happened almost it was, immediately. Well, you're right, but it, it was, was like, still a gradual thing to her becoming yeah. the largest. Well, like, I mean, like if Angelina Jolie can be Tomb Raider, then this lady has a chance. Time out. Angelina. Yeah. yeah. Her, she, I think her sole purpose should be in her was because of the booty. Oh, her blue, her lips. It's really. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Angela, her, her ass is nice. She used to be anyway. I don't know about now. But her ass used to be nice. It, it drooped a little bit. It's fine with age. <laughs> <laughs> and was I the only one that saw Wanted? No, no. no, no. Oh, okay, okay. It's it's not bad. It's. I want her to die that entire movie. movie, and then when she finally did die, I was like, oh, that wasn't satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> like, they took that away from everyone else that could have potentially killed. See, Jr., you're not you're not doing it right. Jr., you're not doing it right. You got to wish it on the right people. See, you couldn't have wished it on her because Angelina Jolie, she isn't that horrible. Like she did, she she does justice to most of her characters. But somebody like Holly Berry, <laughs> when it comes to superhero, oh, when it comes to superhero characters, not she just again. does not get it done. Not so I was so again. happy to see her die. Oh my god! <laughs> in in uh in days future past, cause she she's a horrible storm from the beginning, and she did not get better. No, she didn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, it, it 
in my defense, mm-hmm. it's not that I hated her because I don't hate her as an actress. I just hated the character. Okay, I got you. Okay. And I just wanted someone else to kill her. She killed herself. I was like, oh, I was hoping the dude <laughs> might be forced to shoot her in the face through some weird manner. Like, he's going to shoot it up. It's going to bounce off the ceiling fan, hit everyone else. <laughs> and then she's going to just jump in the front because he only shot himself. Yeah. Well, like, at least he killed her. You know, that movie was famous for breaking the fourth wall at the end. Right. He talks mm-hmm. to the audience and said, yeah, yeah, so what if she would have just looked at the camera and she's like, Jar, I won't give you the satisfaction. She <laughs> <laughs> strikes herself with light. <laughs> no, Holly Berry comes on like, you know what happens to bad characters that go? <laughs> she hits her with so like... Storm as Holly Berry as Storm would have came onto the set uh-huh. yep. and did that. Yeah. I would You I know what happens to bad actresses when they get cast on a horrible I movie again. <laughs> I would have had like three Blu-rays currently. <laughs> you would have I support this. I support the hell out of this. <laughs> I got a plaque on his wall and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but in the okay, so oh the next the next news item is pretty big. Guys. Uh, it, okay. It's something we've all been talking about at one sure. point or uh, another. But before we go to that, a little um, bit more um news on the uh, Nintendo theme park. Okay. Apparently, it's only going to be in Japan as of right now. Oh, come on. Because they're still wow. working out on the kinks for it. <sighs> Wait a minute. Apparently, wow. it's going to cost to make this theme park $365 million. Did it? Wow. wow. That's a lot. Oh, my gosh. Tiny Tina. Tiny Tina. Tiny Tina. Tiny Tina. Tiny Tina. Now, see, you saying Tiny Tina, and what's popping in my Tiny head right Tina. now is Battleborn and Borderlands. Oh, from, from Borderlands? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. From so, Borderlands. All right. Uh, what's her name? Because she's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, I just cannot remember her name. Angelina Jolie. N- Whoa! <laughs> I should shoot you right now. Birch. 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 Yes, Birch. 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 Um, Doesn't ring a bell. Birch. Don't know. Google it. I'm going to pull, pull up for you guys. Google it. Let's go on to the next one. Co- Co- Cody, you know who Birch is? Mm, no, I don't. See, Cody watches YouTube live. He doesn't know who Birch is. Like, I, but you're going to show us, right? I'm going to show you. I'm going to oh, know hey. who Birch is by the time because, I leave here. I know, oh, right? She... Also, Gate, she had this whole little thing planned out where she was saying, hey, this is what you guys need to do to Nintendo theme park. Okay. And she has this whole little skit thing about it. And then all of a sudden, she hear, catches wind that they're making it. And she just throws a little rage. It's a little... Word? Sore. And she she does this in the Tiny Tina voice. Well, she is the voice of Tiny Tina. So oh, 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 oh. Ashley, oh, Ashley Bird. Oh, Ashley Bird. Oh, 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 I know. Hold on. You oh. gave me something else to do. I don't I, think she, anything she's, get done tonight. If you, if you would have said, <laughs> if you would have said Ashley Birch from Game Trailers, I would have known what you're talking about because she got a start on Game Trailers. She was doing the right. skits with her brother, right. with their grandfather. But, yeah. yeah. What? Well, that's the grandfather. Oh, the father. dad. The dad. The father. Yeah. 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 Ashley Birch. Okay. She's Ashley Birch. She's cool as hell, man. Let yeah. me go yeah. ahead and add that to my phone. <laughs> yeah. Because I love me some China Tina. Oh, you didn't know she That's little sister for life. Ashley Birch, man. Yes. Bro, I did not know that. I'm adding to my phone right now. You you, you, you want to put that that Pornhub package in your wish list? <laughs> oh, you got it? Oh, hell no! <laughs> Get out of here with that. <laughs> What's that crap? I'm just trying to help you out, man. You I don't want right? it though. <laughs> you keep forcing me into a situation I don't want, and I'm gonna keep on you until oh, I get out. You know, man. You know, man. I can't wait. I hope out, I witness bro. one of the real life awkward experiences that's gonna happen to people that have virtual reality. And they spend virtual time with these people that they never actually met in real life. Mm-hmm. So when they meet the people in real life, they're recalling experiences that the other person doesn't know happened, and they're just weirded out by it. <laughs> right? It's like, oh yeah, yeah, we were hanging out last night, right? Mm-hmm. And then girl's gonna be like, I, "What are you talking about? We never hung out." And he's like, "Yeah, man, I I had you on ten. You're on the you're on the tenth <laughs> setting, man. What? You rock my world." Oh, okay. And she's like, "What? I didn't rock anything on you. Like, I don't know what you're talking about." And he's like, "Hey, you, you want to go to McDonald's?" And that's when you immediately run. Uh, <laughs> that's when you drop that fool and beat for everything. He got. I, no, but see, you see, you don't. You got to let a person finish because you don't know what they're gonna offer. Well, now, if somebody man. came up to me and they were really weird with it, but they were just like, "Hey, man, me and you were hanging out yesterday. I don't even know you. Man. What are you talking about?" They're like, "Hey, man, you want to go to McDonald's?" I'm like, "To do what?" And they're like. I got the hookup, man. I can get us unlimited mozzarella sticks. Now I'm like, let's go. Wait, McDonald's? Let's go to yeah, McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah, they have mozzarella sticks. Since when? Since like, Bruh, this has been like a, a good month three or two months. ago, man? <laughs> no. Is it a month or two ago, right? It has to be it's like three months. months. It was yeah. a little, it's been a bit longer than three months. That's wow. what I'm saying. At, at least. Yeah, at least three months. Well, three months. okay. For me and McDonald's, three months is still kind of recent. Well, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was in late December, early June. I think so. So, so yeah, McDonald's. Pick, when they added that McPick three, McPick 
Yeah, because that was like around uh, that like, wasn't that at was the end of October, ago. November, and whatnot, yeah. where that was getting like was super popular. Time, but they did the mid pick too, mm-hmm. and that's when they added the mozzarella sticks. They added a mozzarella stick. They added the uh, what was it, cheesy fish sandwich? Cheesy fish. Cheesy yeah. fish sandwich. Why cheesy does that sound horrible? Sandwich. Because yeah. it's McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, McDonald's, like, we will accept. Yeah, uh, you know, that weird, <laughs> we will accept sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> McDonald's did their weird conversion to trying to be Denny's and having breakfast all day. Yeah, okay, yeah, and well, that's still going. I oh, like yeah. that was necessarily to beat Denny's. No, I didn't say to beat Denny's. It's to be like Denny's. Oh no, uh, that was just because they never be like Denny's. Denny's. <clears throat> never be like unless they start serving some pancake puffs. Now I gotta, I gotta say this. I enjoy being able to go to McDonald's in the daytime or either really late at night, and I can just tell the lady she's like, "Welcome to McDonald's, please." Buy me and I can just go like, "Can I get that breakfast burrito?" <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, life. Hey, you Thank know. you. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Right. The most awesome part about that is that you can talk to one person and it'd be like, "Cause uh, most a female." Yeah. It's like, yeah. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? And then you're like, <laughs> Yes, can I get, uh, let's say, a McDouble with Mac sauce? And the next one, like, please drive around. Mm. You're like, oh. <laughs> Did you switch sex as soon as what I gave you my order or what? <laughs> you get to the window, it's even deeper. <laughs> That'll be $10. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> be like, what, what What? happened to the lady I was talking to in the box? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just the I made it voice. <laughs> I, I asked um, one of the workers there, and they're. They were, I was like, literally, I just gave you my order, and you repeated it correctly to me. But then when I got up here, it was wrong. Like, what the hell is going on with that? They're like, oh, actually, when you guys come up there, it dials out to another person. I don't even know who that is. What? Are you serious? Yes. So sometimes at Summit Down, <sighs> what they explained to me was that person that takes their order sometimes is not even in the store. What? Huh? Yeah, weird. that person isn't even wow. in the store. What kind of high-tech McDonald's so, you going to? I don't know <laughs> what happens, but I guess that person takes the order. It must somehow they must do it on the screen i guess because yeah. they take order and then the person you drive up to they're just like hey my first time talking to you guy how you doing and you're like, hey give me your money right <laughs> so, so so what you're saying is by the time i leave the drive through i might actually be missing a kidney yeah man dude my, my life's breaking right now so much deception in this world i, I need a shot of nutella <laughs> I, I, that's the only way i can deal with a shot. shot of nutella jeez oh, oh my god man, man. <laughs> but any but anyway yeah mozzarella sticks they're really good actually they're like they're not bad at all wait what they're just small they're small they, they are small yeah yeah. Only get hold on. Only get three. I'm sorry, son, if you still have my business. Okay. <laughs> also, I that big. McDonald's about that big. Oh no, nah, see, no, nah, I ain't, ain't got, got more than it. three. Yeah, I know, right? Sonic, you get five of them about that big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, Cody knows. That Cody knows. And it's cheesy and crunchy. Well, Sonic also has really good deals, but not a lot of the time. That's uh, true. My uh, my not supervisor, she like on a daily basis, she texts me like Sonic coupons. I'm like, I'm going to Sonic today. <laughs> <laughs> How many of these burgers I can get? Oh, a limited five. Well, I'm getting five. <laughs> Sonics can tell you your future even yeah. when you didn't know you wanted and stuff. A <laughs> yep. And a slushy. What is this? Happy hour? Happy hour all day? Done. <laughs> you go outside, you trip over Sonic's coupon. <laughs> that shit's like, you want a slushy. He's like, I'm going to slushy. I do want a slushy. <laughs> Shit. I didn't trip over it. It came and landed in my face. <laughs> <laughs> but I did go to Sonic that day. You know what? You know what that was, though? That was Channing Tatum doing his peck magic. Wow. He was just making it flow in the air and land on your chest. Mike. As soon as as soon as they hit your chest and you were like, is this the Sonic? He was like, Was that the reason he's not playing Gambit? Was it wet? That's exactly what's going on. Was the coupon wet when they hit you in the chest? No. Yeah, it was. You sure about that? Not sure. You can you can be honest with me. You don't remember. We've all had experiences with wet coupons. Yeah, one coupon, but I did get the sparkly dollar. So Sparkly oh, dollar. That, that was up a strip of butt cheeks. <laughs> Hope you know that. Oh, yeah. Well, at least I spent it right away. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that glitter on your fingers. Now did you did you, you, did you make it rain on the cashier? How how much sprinkles was on that one dollar? Then when you hand it to her, do you see the powder fly? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see the powder fly, but I did see it glisten as I kind of <laughs> see? See? There you go. It don't matter. It was enough yeah, on when there. When I put it out my wallet, it was like fairy dust. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, crap. oh, what is the next news item, man? We we're, oh, we're, we're talking okay, man. we're we're discussing um Microsoft recently put out an open invitation or open uh letter mm-hmm. saying that they were willing to work with other networks besides the Xbox Live network Wait, in order to let gamers play with each other across platforms. Right, like PlayStation. 
Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, Sony. Sony, play with us. Play with us. We we have a really good network. <laughs> they just insult them and invite them at the same time. Yeah, no, it's like, know. we're up right now. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, we really, huh? Try selling that to Snoop Dogg when he gave you that little rant video. Oh, your, I know. Right? Yeah. Snoop Dogg was so pissed when, uh, so apparently Xbox Le- Network, Xbox Live Network was down and Snoop Dogg put up, a, what was that on Twitter or Instagram? What was, I, I think, think it was, it was on, Twitter. I he put up Twitter. on Twitter and he was like, Microsoft fix your shit. Or he said in the Snoop Dogg, he's like, Microsoft fix your shit. <laughs> fix your shit, <laughs> homie. Huh? And you start crook walking. <laughs> like, it, was, it was crazy. <laughs> Oh crap! Um, but yeah, so Microsoft put out an open invitation to other people. They're like, "Hey, let's try let try to let our gamers play together now." And Sony responded, mm. and they're like, they, "They didn't respond in the way you would want them to really respond. They, they didn't go like, oh yeah, Microsoft, man, well, I, we always wanted to be friends with you. You've been a douchebag though, but that's okay. <laughs> we forgive you. Yeah, let our gamers combine into Omega Money for us. Um, combine into Omega <laughs> Omega money. money. Is that like the Voltron transformation? That's exactly what it is. But, it, but, this. but so it where the like, legs at? But no, there's no legs. <laughs> you at Nintendo and PC? <laughs> there's no y'all to hop on. This is a team effort. <laughs> <laughs> there's no legs. <laughs> There's no head, there's no legs. It's the just head, a it's just a pile of cash. The, no, no, no. The head is the ooya. <laughs> oh, <laughs> everything just went back. Yep. Come on. I just took it back that far. <laughs> but but what, what Sony really said was they were like, hey, we have worked with other people in the past to let gamers play with each other cross platform. Mm-hmm. So it's not out of our wheelhouse that we would work with you too. Because they did do it on the PlayStation 3 with Portal 2. Mm-hmm. They allowed PC and PS3 gamers to play co-op yep. together. Um, they Fortress, did it with another game, Team Final Fortress. Fan- uh, Team Final Fortress. Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Team. So they, they were already doing it. They, yep. And they just made that clear to Microsoft. Like, you guys are late. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> like, we've been doing this. Yeah, y'all been. <laughs> <laughs> we still got it going on right now. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> but, you know, looking past all that, now that Microsoft is actually publicly open to that, let's get it on. Yeah, let's, let's go. Well, yeah, this would hopefully calm uh, a lot of that. Well, the fanboy beef is still going to be there. That's still going to be there. I want to see how these playing wolves are going. At least it went, because, you know, it's going to become this thing like, oh, what cost are you playing on, dude? Cost are you playing on? Oh, you on PlayStation? That's why I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, pick up Stiff Stone? Let's go. Right. Let's do it right now. And you just go, nah, man, I'm on Atari. <laughs> what, what, how do you, what are you talking Wait, about? How, you, how are you playing this game? Yeah, this just just one joystick, magic man. <laughs> did, did magic Mike come in there and touch your controller? Like, <laughs> right, bro, Magic Mike is my controller. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Wait, that's you really playing with Channing Tatum's nipples? I'm staring, are you jealous? I'm staring with his nipples right now. <laughs> <laughs> just, so what, is the a, what is A and B his? What's that area right like? He does it on that? his own. No, no, no. He a, does it on his a, own. A and B is his second and third ab on the left. <laughs> 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 really nah, so, so you so just the, you pinch know. the nipples two times and then you tap his third and I'm second scared. ab I'm and you win. You win the did. game. Wait, it, hold on. So is that his Konami code? That's his Konami. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really scared to find out what the D pad is. What? Bruh, you know what the D pad is. <laughs> is. Don't even lie. <laughs> <laughs> but you you got to use it to be at your best game because if you avoid the D pad. He's gonna think you're playing really bad, and he's gonna be like, "Step it up!" Oh uh, no! You gonna force your hand to the D-pad? <laughs> Just avoid any potential oh analog sticks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, uh, so, man. like Lorenzo, L- Lorenzo, you were talking a mighty lot. Like, would you like a mic? Because, <laughs> like, it. I I feel that they won't be able to hear him, and there's gonna be right. like an awkward yeah. silence. Well, no, really luckily, no. we were all responding to him. Like, That's true. Almost <laughs> on cue. So, it's <laughs> this immediate, you know, some type of response. Yeah, chat, chat. Yeah, what do you think about that? Yeah, what is chat yeah, saying? What is chat doing right now? What do they think? Do they think Lorenzo needs a lapel? Chat is going to take a minute to catch up with us. Okay. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> so, we should probably keep talking. And now we'll okay. Back to you all right. That. So, we'll, we'll, we'll catch back up on chat. Uh, I guess this time we'll go ahead and switch and get chats back in here. Okay. All right. Talk about Thank you, Dwayne. Mm-hmm. Back I'll, to your I'll be back. Back to your salty sanctuary. <laughs> I ain't salty. I ain't never salty. <laughs> yeah. Stop lying. You sure right about now. that? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to lie right now. Chance. Chance, he has returned from the land beyond. How's it feel, man? Hello there, Fire Fist. I have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how's that salty sanctuary? The game makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> that hit me and Cameron in the same combo. You mean this? First swing, it was a two hit combo. Yeah. The first swing took him down from four to zero. Yeah. And the second swing took me down. 
from four to zero. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Ended up beating that Boston. Like one hit. And now we're yeah. kind of lost. <laughs> Goodness gracious, man. Wow. Cameron pointed me to try to um, find the next area because, mm-hmm. you know, you can go wherever you want. And mm-hmm. there's like boxes scattered around randomly and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Just like Dark Souls and Bloodborne, all the other good stuff. Cameron, stop using your glasses to pick your toes. <laughs> Wait, what? We're live. <laughs> what? We are live, dude. <laughs> we saw all of that. <laughs> oh, Did the- you at least get it? Wait, it, looks, oh, it, it looks like the chat responded. What are you saying? <laughs> Did it not? I don't think they want to say anything yet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Cameras, you should just look them right in the camera and be like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> what? I got a whole nother foot to use. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. that's what I'm talking about. Out of these glasses today. That's freedom right there. Oh, All right, man. so next news item, because we got a whole, <laughs> we got a ton of news, man. Yeah. It's not even funny chat. We got, just in case you're feeling that you're in a knowledge deficit, we ought to set you right. <laughs> <laughs> we got so much news here. We're going to level you up two times. On the IQ scale, mm-hmm. which is not a lot. It's, oh, well, no, it depends on what we want multiplies. And stuff. You're not going to feel like that dude from Flowers from Algernon, <laughs> which is going to age me because that's an old ass book. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to say, like, what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know. You guys, never read, you guys never read Flowers from Algernon? What is that? Huh? <laughs> Chat is saying, you nasty. <laughs> 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 All right, Flowers for Algernon is like, it was this really, um, it was, it was a, a retarded guy, actually. Was um, it yeah, and he was a janitor, and this, they were working on this new uh, formula or whatnot with the mouse. They were testing it. It's supposed to make you smart. Yeah, yeah. So they finally decided to do human trials, but on this oh, retarded janitor guy, and he starts getting smarter and smarter. Cool. And at the end, it's really sad because I, it goes back yeah, he like starts regressing. Like, no. Yep, it's yeah. super sad. Especially when he's smart and he's trying <laughs> to come back. And he's trying to like figure out a way to keep his intellect. And it's like, oh. yep, yep, he's just losing it. He's oh, regressing. It's oh, it's a sad movie. It's it, really sad. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's sad. I'm ready for the fields. I'm ready for it. Hit me with it, bro. Let's go. <laughs> They're going to chew out the truck. We, Good. We have to, we have to do that. Make me cry. To, like, it's so much worse than the movie. We need to record you <laughs> watching the movie. Go for oh, it. Yes. Oh, Let's go. I had to read the book in ninth grade for one of my classes. That was like, oh, wow. Mm. Books, books, they always, they make you so emotional because so you're imagining it in your head. You know, in, the, in, the, in the movie. Yeah. yeah. You get yeah. that first, the initial feeling. Yeah. 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 Um. So, uh, uh, well, you know, since we're all in that sad kind of mood, they could do a remake, make they, a radio. They could actually radio. Yo, on radio. Wait, radio. <laughs> no, use the movie radio. radio. A radio. Oh, yes. Oh. Well, you mean you mean they would have to actually go this find whatever Rock Cuban oh. Jr. crawled under. Oh, because oh. I haven't seen him in a while. I haven't it's seen him. That's some shade. I'm, that's not shade. Yeah, bro, that's hella shade. He doesn't. Bro. He doesn't act in popular movies anymore yeah. because oh, he's right, on right. a TV show. He's, he's on a TV show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's also been very busy swallowing big ass phones in clubs. Wait, what? 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 Yeah. <laughs> big phones. Last time I heard about- talking Cody's mic right quick. What is okay. this? What is this? Yeah. So apparently, the last time I heard anything about Cuba Gooding Jr. It's on the radio, and he was apparently in the club dancing with a shirt off, swallowing random phones. Like putting, uh, a, well, like I won't say about a five phone, an iPhone six S. Yeah, you got to tell us the brand. Like, what was that? A Galaxy Note? Because that shit, he's dead. Seen, <laughs> like, he did not swallow seen, a Galaxy Note. Like he went, and was trying to eat the phone. Yeah. Wow, it was a man. really weird thing on the radio. Well, you, well, you know how you know how when you're really drunk, anything's possible. So maybe he was just feeling he was sweating. He was like, "Oh yeah, this is the best night of my life. My acting career is coming back. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna get oh, you know, like <laughs> holy shit. He's like, I, I can totally eat this okay. phone. <laughs> that beginning, it did not sound like that. He went from oh, he went from oh man, my career is coming back to oh. oh. <laughs> Oh man! I, but right. seriously, though, I haven't seen him in anything really popular um, since Radio or Men of Honor or that the movie you did with Robin Williams. He's been in a few TV, TV shows. Few, okay, what what TV shows? Um, let's see. We're gonna t- talk about 2015. Uh, he was okay. in Empire. Yeah. Oh, okay. Guest, guest, yeah. guest appearance. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 It was only one episode. Um. So <laughs> okay. he was in the he was in the Book of Negroes. Uh, uh, I've never seen. There's two episodes. Shade. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was in Big Time in Hollywood, Florida. Was, was he in Machete? Was he in uh, Machete too? He in Machete Two? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't, Machete Two is not big time to me. That's like a B movie at best. He was in Machete okay. Kills. Yes, sir. He was. Okay. Yeah. I forgot. I was like, I remember seeing that, that <laughs> small place on there. Yeah, Machete Kills. Yeah. Machete Kills. Machete Kills. Yeah. 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 Um, he was also in Forever. In three episodes of that. Uh, okay. Big Time Hollywood was six episodes. Well, is any one of these things a A list movie? Um, close American Crime Story. 
Is uh, that TV show? The People versus OJ Simpson. Oh, oh, oh I forgot man, about that TV that. show. He okay, is OJ okay. mother. Maybe he's trying to come back with that. Yeah, probably. Maybe he's coming back. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, we'll what that. you seen it? It's bad. I didn't say that. Oh, okay, okay. Just checking, man. <laughs> just skeptical. Just skeptical. Right? So what? Uh, he's gonna be on like on set, just run around. Everybody's like, you remember that movie? I kept saying, show me the money. Yeah, this is happening again. I'm bringing that back. <laughs> OJ, they found the knife. OJ, they found the knife. <laughs> Wasn't there a thing that they actually said they uh, bulldozed or they put a top of OJ's house and they found? They were digging his foundation and they, they found they found, found something the gloves yeah, that did not fit. But those probably did fit. <laughs> Are these are not the gloves you're looking for? <laughs> I mean, it's not the first time he screwed himself over. Like he wrote that book, and it's like I didn't kill her, but if I did, this is how I would do See, it. Now that was already a bad move. It's like, but if I did have done it, like that's, if you did have done it, you would have did it this way. That's almost, oh, wow, almost man. the way it went down. Yeah, yeah. close. Hold up, wait, oh. hold up. Can we not use this? Trials over. Damn. <laughs> Aside from minor details, this is pretty close. It's like. <laughs> the only thing that's different is you said you made Kool Aid before you stabbed it. <laughs> that was in the initial findings. Yeah, he wouldn't have had enough time to do that making Kool Aid. <laughs> he made the Kool Aid while stabbing it. Every time he stabbed oh, it, he put it on the packet. That's why the Kool Aid was. Right. It was. If you read the details, it was originally grape. <laughs> oh. It was originally. Oh, so then it turned into black cherry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It was my watermelon and then and then. <laughs> watermelon. Oh, okay, <laughs> see, he throwing more shade. Instead of ribbon flapping, it just had chemical. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god, this um, is gross. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's see. So, Nintendo is stopping production of the Wii U as of this year. Oh. Actually, that's a rumor. That's a rumor. Yeah, that's you a rumor. So you don't think this is going to happen? Yeah, no, I don't think it's going to happen. Why not? Okay, so I was listening to, uh, you know, shout out to Beast Cast. Uh-huh. Uh, Beast Cast, yeah, they Giant were... Bomb. Oh yeah, we love you. <laughs> I love you. I know about them. I know he loves you too. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I was listening to their uh, their podcast at work, and uh-huh. they were mentioning that uh, Nintendo came out. We didn't make that announcement. It was like we never said that. It was like production of the uh, Nintendo Wii U is still happening. But I mean, w- they would say that, right? Though because yeah. they haven't announced their next gen system yet, and you got people out there with Wii U's and people still buying Wii U's. Yeah. yeah. So they it- got other games <laughs> coming out on Wii U. So I mean, it'd be kind of stupid for them to go and it's like, oh, we're just going to stop cool. production, just take everything and move it to the Nintendo NX. Yeah, yeah. Like they would have to get out in front of that and control it, right? Because yeah. that would just like keep that would hurt their sales actually completely at this, at this point. What, what sales they have? <laughs> shade, oh, oh, shade. Oh, oh, bad. Chance with the shade. <laughs> Why do we not have that sound bite? <laughs> I know, like shade. <laughs> oh, hey, we'll just have to get our uh, music man to do another sound bite for that. Mm-hmm. I, honestly, I, I do think it's true. I, I feel like Nintendo wants to put the Wii U as far back behind the music and all yeah. the new launch yeah. titles that they're coming out with. Mm-hmm. I believe, you know, rumor, you know, rumors are rumors. Mm-hmm. They say that the NX is going to be a lot out a lot sooner than we think. I feel like. That third person Zelda, they're not third person. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, um, yeah. The open world, Zelda. yeah, the open world Zelda. I feel like that's gonna be uh, one of the NX launch titles. Some people are speculating that it's gonna be like early, like late this year. You know really, I'm like yeah. or like a late next year or something okay. like that. Right. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I just think they want to get away from the Wii. They I think wanna, so too. They don't want to go ahead and throw it in a closet just yet. You know, they they want to do a nice funeral. Yeah, right. <laughs> they don't just want to throw it in the hole. We made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry. We, the Wii was anything but a success. That's uh, true. It, it gave them trouble from inception. Yeah. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. it did. But at the same time, it, it was mainly because of the titles they had. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and right. as they did, as most freaking consoles do, and most, most gaming companies, as time progressed, they managed to bring out some pretty heavy hits. That's true. Yeah. So. It brought itself back from the dead, at least for a little while. They they had, I think, they're one of their biggest issues though was with marketing. Yeah, because they were yeah, coming man. right off of the Wii, and they were like, "This is the Wii U," so naturally people were like, "Oh, this is an attachment." A, yeah, yeah, I, I can just put it on my Wii, and I'm good to go. No, no, it's this a, is another console. Is Shit, we fucked up. Marketing. <laughs> also, I heard like it was a heavy setback because initially uh, a lot of parents bought the Wii instead of the Wii U, mm-hmm. and it was like. Okay, well, how are we supposed to tell the goddamn difference? It's the same thing. <laughs> it's a Wii and a Wii U. That's the same thing, right? Yeah. It even plays Wii well, games. Name. So. focus on JRT because they don't. they don't know what he looks like. Ah, I'm cutting myself over here. What's up, peeps? 
that is Jara, by the way. I think that's the first time they've seen him this entire uh, episode. Is. Yeah. The, the, the see, it, you have the power. You have the power to I move that thing around. <laughs> Dang, get off that phone, do your job. You can, you can, you can actually pan all around the room. Actually, actually, you know what? Let me use my magneto powers right quick. There we go. I don't think there's enough metal. I got hold on, stop, stop, stop. I gotta get I gotta get in my uh yeah. Michael Foss vendor mood. I gotta act like I'm about to cry. I gotta get all dramatic. <laughs> and in every X-Men trailer, he's always like tear up. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. I'm about to, I'm about to use my powers. Bomb. Remember the lip bomb. <laughs> <laughs> all right, JR, you're Charles Xavier. Okay. Okay. I, just, okay. I just I just need to look at you to channel my emotions, like, okay? I can't do it, Charles. You can. I can't do it, Charles. <laughs> I have bruh, never moved bruh, anything this bruh, big before, bruh. Charles. <laughs> <laughs> he never moved anything that big before. <laughs> oh my god! Just so you guys know. <laughs> Wait, hold on. They did. They did kind of set up uh, Charles Xavier. They had that bromance in that in that first movie, first class. Yeah. Xavier yeah. and they had that bromance it, it going. Worked, it, did like, it, it did work though. It did work. It did work because it felt more. Like the series, because that kind of how they were, yeah. well, that's not kind of, that's how their relationship was. Yeah. It was yeah. like, oh, yeah. they're really close, like brothers. That yeah. part, it's like, oh, yeah. That's, that's and then he shot him in the back. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> no, he didn't just shoot him in the back. He shot him in the spine. That's a whole nother level. <laughs> I told y'all I was ready. I told you. What now, Charles? What now, Charles? Come on. You're paralyzed. You're paralyzed, Charles. Get up, you can't Charles. walk now, Charles. Do it, Charles. What is the mutant power going to do for you now, Charles? All you got to do is go upstairs, Charles. You know what I could do, Charles? I control metal. I can make you a wheelchair, Charles. I can make... <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Wouldn't it be hilarious after you shot him, he just crafted the wheelchair? <laughs> with the bullets you like, shot him so with? That is so messed up. That is so messed oh, up, yeah, man. Oh, no, I didn't back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need that bullet back. Yeah. <laughs> I need this little screw for your chair. Hold on. He had him, he had him as the rim. Like the little part of the rim. <laughs> and he made oh, it out of oh, man. Man. He made uh, a wheelchair out of one. You gotta remember this one. Um, but uh, whoever's listening in the chat, who's ever listening worldwide, who's ever gonna see this after this, if you're a budgeting animator, uh, you know, you have any uh, interest in learning how to animate. Good news for you. Uh, if you know, if you ever watched a studio, studio Ghibli film, they did yeah, stuff right. like Spirited Away, mm-hmm. um, awesome House movie. movie Castle, uh-huh. Awesome Movie, huh? What? Awesome Movie. Oh, Awesome Movie. Yeah, it was yeah. an excellent movie, dude. Like Princess Mononoke. They did awesome that. movie. Okay. <laughs> Princess Mononoke. Um, the the animation software they were using, Toons, recently went open source. Yep. So you can oh, go download that for free and actually use the same software they use to make those movies, minus the skill and talent. And but you can get there. <laughs> the skill and talent. You can get there, though. I believe in you. All right. So you know what that means, people? All you guys who are doing those uh, those ad-lib knockoffs, I say, like, well, Helsing and Bridge is already awesome. Mm-hmm. And Dragon yeah. Ball Z yeah. Bridge is already awesome. Uh, but those of you parodies. who want to be on that level, learn how to source for it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Get yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah. You can make something that's really unique. Yeah, and at, yeah. at the same time, really close to what the original could be. Yeah, definitely. If oh, if yeah. uh, if uh, Magneto can do it, you can too. Oh, <laughs> oh, I can't do it, Charles. I can't do it, Charles. I've never you moved can't. anything this big before. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh crap! Man. So what what's going on next in the news, Adrian? Uh, we got a uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Chance, I'm sorry, but I have to. You know, send you back oh, that, and, and oh. resummon Dwayne again because he has more news on the on the Pokemon. Dwayne, we summon thee with all your knowledge of Pokemon and animal fight. <laughs> <The wizard. laughs> <laughs> what is uh, going on, Dwayne? Uh, I, I am good. How, how's it getting in there with Assault uh, Sanctuary? Um, I went back in there. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> just going back oh, and forth, amazing, back and forth. I'm it? like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because I walked away from the game that you come back and you just... Yeah. Well, you know, apparently it's not you. People that have been playing this game, they compare the level design to Metroid and Castlevania. And you know, those games, the levels are built in and out of each other, on top of each other. And those games have one thing this game does not have. They usually have a map. But yep. this game is like, fuck you. <laughs> learn your way around. You learn how to so, backtrack like a G. Yeah. <laughs> you Good luck, buddy. Confused, I, I think not, that's what Cameron's doing back there. He's backtracking. He's going, Missed. M- <laughs> missed. <laughs> missed. <laughs> Twist, miss. Twist, miss. It said missed. 
Okay, so, so yeah, Pokemon Sun and Moon. What should we expect from it? Uh, well, right now they all all they told us was you know these games coming out later on in the holiday, so that's like around probably um Christmas or whatnot. Okay. Um, but they are going to one one of their um Japanese popular um magazine companies called Koro Koro Koro. Yeah, yeah. Um, they they're gonna give out more news uh, for Pokemon Sun and Moon okay. April fifteenth. Okay. Yeah. Um. You know they they didn't give us any details of what they're gonna um tell us. Yes, they're gonna show us like the Pokemon, like the Star Pokemon, the region, um, how the trainers look like. All right. But hey, that's just speculating. Yeah. Okay. I want some customization. Right, like they did on um X and Y. I yeah, want yeah. to be able to pick my Pokemon's hairstyle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Definitely. Man, I want to. Hey, put, hey, like, I, I want to put fruit. Well, fruit. Well, well, that's just one. That's just one. Well, I want <laughs> no, I, options, sir. I also yeah. want to put some Jordans on my um. Uh, my... <laughs> I've always wanted to put a toupee on Golem. Hey. Um, yes. Um, give me that. Give me that ability. I want a ponytail on my Onyx. I know exactly what you're talking about. I, can't that. I would I name him Steven Seagal. Would that be a snake on a snake? Like a... <laughs> yeah. The, uh, I just want to name him Steven Seagal. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was the beard. Mm-hmm. Wait, what are you guys talking about? Um, Pokestar um, Studios. Yeah, Pokestar, Pokestar Studios. Studio. In black and white, too, you could actually dress up and make movies. Interesting. With yeah. your Pokemon. With, huh. your Pokemon. With you and your Pokemon. Okay. Okay. That's right. so So if I wanted to get a uh, Hitmonly, Hitmontop, and what's the Hitmonchan, and try to recreate Enter the Dragon. Could I do it? I, you better be able to. Oh, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> I don't think it was that far. I, mean, like, that I, think, I think it was only like one, po- one Pokemon. You yeah, have one Pokemon. Yeah, you. And I don't want uh, it. I don't want it. Take it back. I don't want <laughs> it. Take it back. No. I want my Hitmon lead to be sitting there just clenching his little what? His two fingers <laughs> sitting there doing this. Yeah. 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 Me, that's stare though. He has me staring at him. I know, right? With the, with his little squinting eyes in his chest. <laughs> I just I, I would love to see him on Lee. No Hitmon Lee has no neck, right? He's he has like a full neck. like he's it's just a full chicken. So it's just a face on like a, a chest, right? <laughs> so he would just be like, you know, like, why'd you kill my master? Why? 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 And he just like he can't turn his neck, so he just why? 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, though. You never see him hit my throw a fist. So he's always kicking people. That's true, yeah. He's like a shadow skill. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It, d- dating Seriously. myself again, that is an old anime, but if you have not seen Shadow Skill, go YouTube that. Cause it, and don't YouTube. get mad at us because it it ends kind of, I want to say, in a not-so-satisfying yeah. manner. Yeah. But yeah but the, the journey up, though. Yes. yes. Every old oh, goodness. So good. So good. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Uh, so is that is that all about Pokemon Sun and Moon that's come out? Is that uh, everything? No, besides the um, Pokemon Bank, it will also be Im- implemented to the Pokemon Sun and Moon. Like, you got Pokemon captures from the original red, blue, yellow. All of them? Mm-hmm. Okay, wow. Yeah, any Pokemon that you, um, call, you put in the Pokemon Bank, yeah, you can take it. Oh, you yeah. can put it Wait, in the so Pokemon. you have to put them in the bank first. Yeah, you have to put them in the bank first. They're not in the game when you when you buy the game. It you, won't have, you have to put them in the bank and then, you know, yeah, it'll get shipped so, to so, the So what's, what's the Pokemon Bank for anybody in the chat, anybody watching that hasn't it's, played Pokemon in a long time? This is basically the whole, you know, your um extra Pokemon, you know, because, you know, uh, with the PCs they have inside the game, mm-hmm. it's only like, what, 16 boxes or whatnot, I believe. Or 32 or something right, like that. But, but, yeah. but, you know, like Pokemon breeders, you know, they want to get that special Pokemon yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I got this special Pokemon. Okay, you know, I'm putting the bank for, you know, the future games yeah. and whatnot. Um, also, they did, Nintendo and the Pokemon Company did confirm that it is coming out for 3DS. Okay. There's no word it's going to be coming out for Wii U or, um, Nintendo NX. Okay. It's going to be coming out with the, um, English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, Japanese coins, and other, other languages as well. Yeah. For the, um, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Also, the, um, if, if I can language and the subtitles. Well, oh, because that, I thought you were talking about the yellow, green, and blue, because if you go to the eShop right now, you get... Lorenzo, you need a mic, sir. Because <laughs> now, now, now it actually is like a like, blank. Yeah. Every time it's like, yo, you, you're talking way. Like, you need a mic now. <laughs> is just, you take, if yeah, you're you talking, take like, like borrow Cody's mic. Because like, so, we can't hear you. Nintendo, because I don't know stop, why they not, didn't don't say pull it before. You come up. I feel like yeah. Nintendo, with their names, outside of Wii, mm-hmm. you have been doing a really awesome job of giving their, their system names. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. everybody else is just kind of generic. And it's don't even give me Star Well, I don't. Nintendo but 64. The one. <laughs> uh, that was okay. But I, that, is it okay because we got used to it? It was okay because it was it was the beginning. Okay. All right. Really? Just think about it. What was before that? What, Super what, what Nintendo. Console? <laughs> <laughs> the Super Nintendo. Right. 
<laughs> SNES. No, it's the SNES. The SNES. <laughs> and they're like, what do we call Nintendo 64? And everybody's like, what? 64 bit? What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Was that why they called it? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. 64 bits of, of what? Video memory? Awesome Not video memory, right? Because it has Smash something. Brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Smash Brothers. Mm-hmm. Hybrid Heaven. Yeah. Oh, oh, nobody yeah. probably knows yeah. about that game. I love yeah. that game. Uh, Hexen. Gauntlet, also, the gauntlet that was on the 64 it was Turok. Oh, oh yeah, Turok. Man. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. But uh, yeah, so that's that's all uh, that's happening with Pokemon so far. Yeah. And also, be careful of fake leaks. <laughs> fake, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a lot. Is. There's a lot of them. <laughs> but they're fun, though. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. But to me, I'm like, uh, I just want the official one. I'm not. Uh, I, I, I ain't. Uh, newest Pokemon game coming out on the Dreamcast. What? <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Yo. So there's a question in chat. Uh, what did you want explained? Hmm? What, what did you want explained? The chat's asking us what we wanted explained. No, there was an, something we were talking about. He wanted an explanation. Uh, so I want to see if we can get that for him. But go on. Okay. I just okay. Well, yeah. I, I said don't quote Mount Sun and Moon. Okay. Well, thank you for that, Dwayne. We're gonna resummon Chance back. Chance, come back, man. I use my <laughs> Phoenix now. Hurry up. <laughs> Q time. <laughs> <man. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> My Q time is leaving me. Hurry up, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too late. Oh, I We're all Q. dead. Damn it, Chance. <laughs> I missed my Q. He didn't use the right elemental magic anyway. <laughs> you, you have to use the fire dragon. He came with nothing but fire. <laughs> oh, just red magic all the way around. <laughs> this fire oh. dragon hates more fire, right? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <God. laughs> All right, so while we're waiting for our, our lovely chat to respond to that question, oh, chat has already responded. The oh. question has already been answered. Okay, so well, what's what the question? It? He was, uh, he, they, the viewer, wanted an additional information on the Pokemon Bank. It mm-hmm. has been answered. Oh, okay, oh, okay, gotcha. cool. Right. So, DZ, D Wizzle, D Wizzle, D Wizzle, D Wizzle. I'm glad, I'm glad your answer got co- your, your, your answer got questioned. D Wizzle, <laughs> D Wizzle answered the question already. Oh D-wizzle. man. <laughs> oh my god okay so what's going on next um all right so uh chance knows a little bit more about this Shaq okay. giving a uh, ngr a boost what's that all about yeah yeah um it was Shaq and a, another nba star i don't I, that one i wouldn't even call him a star mm. oh is that shade i hear that Ooh, Ooh, that's i'm the king of shade <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Hold but, uh, Shaq is actually investing in NGR, which is an esports circuit that focuses on League of Legends. And that says two things. For one, um, the fact that people, you know, with money, especially people who are, you know, from sports, investing into another sports outlet mm-hmm. like esports, I mean, that's that's huge for them. You know, not only just the money, the money's great, mm-hmm. but the name along with it. I think yeah. it also proves that Shaq is smarter than people that aren't. Yeah, yeah. of oh, course. Yeah. He's, he's got a, because, what, think like a, a master's or, yeah, or something. Yeah, he's been working on a lot of his uh, his degrees behind the scenes, of course. Not, not many people knew about it. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 I mean, that's the thing. It what, what, what really makes me happy about this news is that esports is becoming even more validated. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Now it's just not a nerd thing. Yeah. Now it's becoming an official thing. You got actual uh, traditional sports stars investing in this thing because they see a future for it. Yeah. Isn't yeah. someone supposed to be moving now? Who's uh, supposed to be or moving? something like that? Didn't someone said if esports becomes a thing? They were... Oh, yeah. That announcer oh, on yeah. ESPN. Uh, not announcer, but the, uh, whatever it is. It, he was the a, talk show he has a, on there. Is he, is he football or is he basketball? I think, I think he's, he's football. football. I, I remember his quote too. He was like, if they ever ask me to host one of these gaming tournaments, it will be my last day at ESPN. First oh, off, so someone needs to quit. Oh, that yeah, that douchebag yeah. on yeah, ESPN. It's like, it's like, yeah. First off, dude, no one's going to ask you to commentate on something. You have no idea what you're talking <laughs> <Exactly>. about. <laughs> you know? How do you already came out and say, I, I fucking hate esports? Yeah. Oh, why is somebody going to come up to you like, oh, well, would you host this esports thing for us, man? Yeah. We saw you yesterday and you were like, I fucking hate esports. And we would love if you would <laughs> just were... give your knowledge and your time to this this <laughs> this blooming Sport. <laughs> why does it so why does it sound like five girls send you a group with asking him this? Oh, that's because it is <laughs> <laughs> No, that that'd be awesome if Jim Carrey actually bought an esports as well. Oh, and he wow. was the actual commentator. <laughs> <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> oh my god, this team is really taking this game. They won the last two games. Somebody stop them. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody stop the damn match. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> 
I, I think um one of the biggest pots of esports, um mm-hmm. the last one, I think it was either two million or something. A wow, two, two million dollars. Uh cash pot for the Dota championship. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Man. That that's in that's a ridiculous amount of money. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. I, Dota, CSGO, League of Legends, those top three games, they're reckoning in so much money, so many viewership. It is just going up and up and up. Yeah. And if Overwatch comes out and that game has a competitive scene of, you know, a Blizzard game, mm-hmm. you know, just like with Hearthstone, man, we it it just can only get better. We're in it, man. Oh, all yeah. we all we yeah. gotta work on is our presentation. Yeah. Because yeah. every every time I watch an esports game, they've been getting better at it, but every time I watch an esports game, I'm like, if I wasn't a nerd, I would not. I would have a hard time understanding what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Because the commentators make it a little better, but at the same time, just seeing their screen, seeing like that top-down view of some of the players, or just seeing them bounce from player to player, and if it's a first-person shooter, um, it's 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 hard to understand what's going on sometimes, and that happens to real sports too. But I think video games have a long way to go. Ah, Jay, I respect. found it. Oh, is that it? <laughs> you found him. What's the guy's name? Colin Cowherd. Cowherd. Wow, yeah, what a name. <laughs> Eviscerates. Eviscerates ESPN. Jeez. Mm. Oh, yeah. He said some very, very mean things. I mean, we'll get salty, bro. Uh, GG, son. GG. GG, son. See you in that day. Good game. We're coming. Esports is coming, whether you like it or not, sir. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Your yeah. child is going to be the number one player <laughs> in, in, in Flappy Bird. I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna t- get <laughs> He's gonna come up to you tomorrow, like Dad, Dad, can you take me to this tournament in Los Angeles with Flappy Bird? Holy and he's shit! Just like, what is that? Is, Bird? is that that fucking esports son? <laughs> I told you not to come in with that shit. <laughs> dad has got to go to work at ESPN. You sure better be that? done with this when I get. Oh, <laughs> I <laughs> esports around this. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, Dad, you, I'm not playing Flappy Bird anymore. But this is Counter Skirt. <laughs> wow. He gets puberty, so he gets puberty as he's playing Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, have you seen how some Counter Strike matches go? Dude, they are beastie. Yeah, they are, as man. soon as they see a pixel peek out, oh, they're yeah. on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh it's, my it's, goodness, it's insane. It, it really is. Like those players. Um, granted, they just had problems with like players taking Adderall mm-hmm. like, to help focus and things yeah. like that. I mean, um, I wouldn't say just. It's been a thing oh, yeah, for a while, all, but yeah, it just finally brought yeah, it to light. It just, they just brought it to light and tried to, you know, change it. You know, say this, is, <laughs> this isn't this is going to work here. You know, you're not yeah, going right. to be doing so, that. So is Adderall supposed to be like, uh, have raw steroids for gamers? It's the gamer's <laughs> drug of choice when it comes to video gaming <laughs> because it, it makes you focus. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know how little things would usually distract you in games? Like, if you don't believe in yourself, that can distract you. Um, if if you're thinking about something else, if you're depressed, all that stuff actually wears heavily on your performance as a video game player. I can't believe I'm actually saying that. Yeah. Legitly, there's like, yeah, yeah, a science to these things, guys. <laughs> you don't always play 007 game. well. You got to be in the right <laughs> frame of mind. Goldeneye, you know, when you ran past someone, especially now if you're just playing the game casually, mm-hmm. how you just run past someone and you get a glimpse of them, but you won't. Sometimes you don't immediately turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you're focused. And this put money on the hunt. As soon as you see that little piece of something run by you, you're already shooting it. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's that's, like my sensitivity is turned up to a thousand right now. Oh, wow. that, that's how you know a sport has made it when they start testing for drugs. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> that's the end right there. He's way too focused. We made it. We made it. How do you pull off that shot, guys? Get him tested. Get him tested. <laughs> There's no up. way he's doing that without it's um, Kool-Aid in his system. There's no way. You threw that axe way too far. <laughs> that axe killed 18 people. <laughs> 18 people, John. That was incredible. Oh, no, nah, he's just cheating. That's a glitch. <laughs> and I look over here. I can see him actually has some of the source code open. Okay. <laughs> Is that an aimbot? I think. Okay, yep. Somebody get the admin in here. <laughs> get the admin. Oh, man. All right. So uh, let's see. What do we got next? Gears of War 4. Dead beta. Beta is starting soon. Now, I'm assuming mm-hmm. this is Xbox exclusive just because yeah. Microsoft yeah. got their hands deep in that. Mm-hmm. So, so anybody know more about that? Huh? Who here played 3? I did. I played a little bit a little of three. Bit. What, yeah. were, what were your opinion? On um, well, three. well, no, it wasn't three. It was Liber of. Uh, you're talking about the one where it's the prequel. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about actual three. Oh, three. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Hell out of here. <laughs> okay, well. Wait, for, for, for the people that didn't play 3, what happened in 3? Okay. It wasn't a thing that summed everything up or something like that? Uh, it didn't really sum everything up. It was more of a... Continue off from 2 a, and whatnot. R.I.P. Dom. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Rip Dom. It, yeah. it kind of brought... Uh, 
it brought a lot of the story together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At one point, like you feel, you find out some information yeah, about the give on the gift culture and his badass moment. And about the baby daddy. Yeah, and, uh, wait, what? <laughs> about the baby daddy, about Dom's, uh, what you oh, yeah, actually found out where his, yeah. his wife is. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Found out where yeah, his yeah, wife, is. wife is. And let's just say he doesn't take it very well. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Some things go down, I don't want to spoil it for some of you who, have who played haven't played. I mean, hold on, hold on. If you haven't played Gears of War 3 by now, <laughs> yeah, I think the statute of limitations are up on Gears of War 3. <laughs> yeah. Go cover your ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, screw it, I'm just going to go for it. He takes the whatever. Um, Convoy that are in, he just drives to a wall to blow like whatever. Uh, I forget the name of the enemy. Yeah, off of yeah. There. But he he just takes uh, it. He's just like oh, I'm about oh, to drive. Yeah. About to drive in. I'm just about to blow everything up. He's Diggers. like, oh, Maria, I'm waiting. Yeah. Wow. But yeah. the, the sad part was the way he did it. It was like you still could have just put a brick on that. Exactly. And just wrote it in there. <laughs> yeah. He, By just, he just sat there. The yeah. yeah he he sat in there for like a good. Well, I don't know. Probably like. 15 seconds, yeah, just started, watching it, just he, drive up, no, just closed off. He he was down. No, part of it was just really funny. The fact that he was turning the steering wheel and it was just going straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's dodging non existent things. Yep. That's <laughs> what, they, what they don't tell you is that Gears of War 3 is a uh, a sequel, not a sequel, but a slight a preview uh, okay. to Final Destination 56. Oh, okay. whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa, yeah, that so... movie's coming out next year. Wait a minute. Shit, this is yeah. a few. To a cemetery near you. <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, so I mean, like, okay, so like I'm game. not a deep player in the gear. I'm not deeply invested in the Gears of War universe. I did play one all the way through with my friend co op. You know, yeah. launch was it a launch game on Xbox 360? It, it felt like one. Which one? No, it no, wasn't a launch no, game. No. Oh, well, I, play, I played through with my friend on Xbox 360, played a little bit of two, but the thing I don't remember any of the story bits too much. The thing I remember vibrantly yeah. is the rap. At the yeah, end of right. one, Coltrane's oh, rap. Yeah, Coltrane's yes. rap. Coltrane Page coming. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it was like that. It was ridiculous. I thought you were going to say, like, you're, the one thing you remember and you should always take from a Gears of War game is how hard they run into walls. Yes. <laughs> that, 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 that run. Like, that run. Yes. Though. <laughs> <laughs> they take all of that wall. The camera, like, they just straight <laughs> tunnel vision behind us. <laughs> they were running. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I remember the loading screens because they all of a sudden they'd be moving. All of a sudden they'd like, pull the phone out. <laughs> Time to load. <laughs> oh, we got a message come. Nah, we got a load. Distract him. <laughs> <laughs> what is the headquarters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what bullshit you got to tell me? Okay, is this finished loading yet? No. Uh, how's the how's the weather over there? <laughs> yeah, it's good. These these gamers are getting anxious. Tell them to wait. <laughs> this, uh, we're, we're we're not we're not going to be able to finish loading in time. Give them the red ring of death. <laughs> oh shit! <That's> just <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They must be at the final boss by this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so that that should be interesting yeah. for you, all you Xbox players out there. Yeah. I will say, uh, yeah. I didn't play much of the single player. I'm always like, I'm, I'm a multiplayer focused guy. Mm-hmm. I know when it comes to Gears of War 3, um, a lot of fans that, you know, straight played it strictly for the multiplayer, mm-hmm. they're really disappointed by it. I, really? I, I don't, I can't, not granted, I don't play too much of Gears of War. I yeah. play Gears of War 2, and they told me that the combat you know, centers around like wall bang, like jumping from wall to wall to wall to wall with a shotgun. And, yeah. You know, that that's the best way to play it. Or hopping into people, sticking them and yeah. rolling back. Yeah. 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 And shotgun. You must be cool with them hardcore. Right? Yeah, oh yeah. They're hardcore players. I mean, my, the people I, even when I wasn't playing, I watched my I watched was watching my friends play and they were like they were kind of more casual with it. <laughs> I mean they would occasionally do the cha- they would occasionally change how somebody got a little too close, but Oh man. If you change somebody, chainsaw somebody, and like against actual like really good players, oh my god, it's, it's, it's you're gonna die. Yeah, you're, you're gonna, gonna die. That's that that was pretty much my experience when I first started playing. Just chainsawing people. Yeah. Well, it's no, not even that. It's like uh, my buddy when I used to work at Staples, he was like, oh yeah, you should definitely get this game. You know, I'll play. Which I was like, all right, cool. He said there's a horde mode, and I'm like, oh sweet, oh, <laughs> freaking love horde mode, and like in almost any game. So I'm like, all right, cool, let's do it. And like all his Gears of War buddies join the party. All expert now. Granted, this is my first ever Xbox. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, so wow. it was like, it was like, oh, we got a newbie in oh, town. Huh? I'm like, I regret every decision I made. <laughs> so they, they, oh god, they rate me. They rate oh. me so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was at the point where like they were using whoever the character was for like IC on there on the yeah. game, yeah. and they were just like the entire team would crowd around me while I'm sitting there crawling. I was like, are you gonna kill me? He's like, no, no, welcome to Xbox, son. Get with it. Gears of War all day. T-Bag, t I'm oh, like, oh, God. God. It's like, I don't want to play this now. He's <laughs> like, but the horror mode is so amazing. The horror mode is pretty good. Welcome to Xbox, sir. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see what's next, though. We have 
Telltale doing a Batman game. Oh, yeah. I'm really interested to see what they do with Batman, actually. Yeah. Because every other uh, licensed property they've gotten their hands on, it's been pretty good. It's been gold, pretty much. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. um, you, are you guys interested in, like, a, a, a virtual novel, a graphic novel for Batman? Uh, I think it depends on uh, what the time frame in which it takes. Okay. Uh, um, well, I, for one, think, because I'm, I haven't been up to date with the... Uh, with the comics, so mm-hmm. I want to see. I don't want to see old Batman. I want to see any rehash of some other bullshit. What I would like to see is newer comics. Okay, well that's actually the the good thing about it. It's not going to be connected to any movies or the comic series. It's supposed to be like its own thing where mm-hmm. you can play it as you can either interact with certain things as Bruce Wayne, or yeah. you can go stealthy and go as Batman. Huh. But it's like if to say, oh, uh, Penguin is holding everybody up at gunpoint. Where it's like, oh, well, I can, you know, go into a Batman mode and take him out. It's like, or you can go as Bruce Wayne and try to take him out. Granted, everybody's going to know. It's like, yo, did Bruce Wayne just take on the Penguin in front of everybody? <laughs> <laughs> so, which I, I think, think is going to be kind of, That yeah. would be awesome. <laughs> it's going to be kind of interesting to see how Tartel, you know, throws that in there. Because they did say, it's like, both sides has consequences. So it's like, oh, well, you probably should have did this as Batman. It's like, oh, look, I'm going in as Bruce. You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> did it say anything about how many potential uh, paths? Uh, paths? N- not at the moment. I mean, they said it's scheduled to release this summer, but they're going to be giving more information on that. They um, still, I'm guessing, like waiting for probably like E3. They're waiting mm-hmm. to give more information out on that. Any information about the suit? Yeah, it'd be kind of interesting to see. Um, no, not at the moment. So far, like the only thing they showed um, was like a little snippet of uh, how the logo looks. Other than that, that's about it. Okay, do we have any pictures to that up there? The logo for the Telltale Batman game. Yeah. Oh, Chance, you're oh, you're trying to say something? Yeah. Oh. Um, one thing, one like aspect of Batman that I feel like isn't touched on too much, mm-hmm. and Telltale's never been known to make like action centered games. Yeah, is the detective side of it. And I don't know if that is what Telltale's trying to do. They did it real good on um, Wolf Among Us. Yeah, I, I, I feel like Telltale would like nail that like detective side aspect. That like, yeah. trying to figure out maybe not the big crimes, you know, like the Joker, you know, Bane, all the the yeah. smaller ones, like you know, who is the culprit in this given situation or something like that. Trying mm-hmm. to piece together events that happen, you know, you go get the bad guy like Batman. I feel like Telltale really. Really do that whole detective thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. They, 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 that's what I'm saying. They like, found their stride. Yeah. They were oh, yeah. struggling when around the era of um, uh, Back to the Future and Jurassic Park, but <laughs> after that, they found out like what type of game they were really interested in and really good oh, at making. Oh yeah, and they just stuck, stuck to it after that. <laughs> so what you got to do nowadays, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's both good, but mainly sad because that means you don't have a lot of room to explore. You yeah. have a lot of yeah. things you can test out before your company goes. I mean, well, isn't it? Isn't it like you do the thing that makes a lot of money first, and then you experiment, no, and then you, you make you, some more money? Not no, not nowadays. You you do the thing that makes you the most amount of money, and then when you <laughs> want to do something else, people say no, we want more of those. And so then, <laughs> if you actually have the balls to say, hey, we want to do this other thing, break off the company, and then go make the other thing. And then you know what happens? That thing doesn't get enough exposure, and it could have been an amazing game. Uh, Jar, why amazing. you giving a sack teacher, I, man? I, I, nah, nah, to, you gotta give it to you hard. <laughs> to bounce off of what uh, <laughs> Jr. saying, it, the the gaming industry right now is in a position that's like it. They're scared to take risks because you know games cost so much money now. Yeah. You know? And in order for a game to be successful, that costs a lot to make. They have to make so much back. Yeah. Oh, I guess oh they, the picture's up. There he is. found it. Oh, oh I guess that there's the Telltale Batman. I wonder when they released that because I haven't seen anything on there yet. So how, that's how his, does it look? I mean, that's his suit and everything. Yeah, huh. the suit's kind of and so so. The suit yeah, is it better than pretty... the one from the movie? Let's say that. Yes. Okay. The then I'm looks, good. The, suit's like, the suit actually looks it looks more armor like, but I don't know if that's an actual picture. That looks, that looks hmm. like Michael Keaton as Batman. It, 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 does. it does actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not my favorite Batman though. Give me some Val Kilmer. Ooh, okay. Right next to you, slap you. No, if I would have said uh, that I other dude, you could slap me. I didn't George think it was worth Yeah, response. I didn't like George Clooney. I hated Batman. George Clooney, and I, oh, well, no, I didn't hate George Clooney. Oh, I hated Val Kilmer. I didn't like. George what? Clooney. I like Val. I like. Well, maybe I like I, Val from that nerd movie. Ever right. since then, I liked him in movies. I didn't. I didn't, like, oh, he's cool. I didn't like, not. Like, nerd Strike Back. What's that movie? The Revenge of the Nerds. Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah, yeah. I did not like. 
<laughs> he does kind of like Double Seven. <laughs> I, enjoyed, I thoroughly enjoyed Michael Keaton as Batman. <laughs> like, I thought it was good Batman. I, I won't. I won't say anything bad about Michael Keaton as Batman. But we all know, like the best Batman was the, the animated uh, series. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like that. That guy. He looks so funny Batman. in real life. It's yeah, <laughs> he has this deep, commanding voice. You see his, you see his voice acting in real life. You're like, oh. What? I did not expect that. <laughs> wow, sir. You, he's all skinny and scrawny and tall. Like He's just like, oh, here you go, boys. Like, do the Batman voice. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that come from? I know I asked for it, but I didn't want it. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't, oh, I was, I would never be ready for that voice coming from you. <laughs> so we're kind of winding down on some parts of the news. We want to check in on the game room, see how they Yeah, let's, let's see what they're doing, man. Uh, let's see. Gamer room coming in now. What's going on, gamer room? How you guys enjoying uh, Salt and Sanctuary? Well, um, the bar's dead. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at a scary-looking Grim Reaper dude. So, so what do you guys think about the game so far? Um, what have you seen? What's your favorite thing so far? What, what's one of the kind of the bad things you've experienced so far? Well, um, if you're constantly trying to get past one single part, it can become tedious. Oh, you keep dying? Is that what you mean? So, uh, <laughs> yeah. D Wizzle. D Wizzle. <laughs> so, uh, so, what kind of character class are you working with right now? I'm a mage that uses a pitchfork. Wait, what? So, fireballs come out of your pitchfork? No, par- fireballs come out of my wand. Oh, that's a wand? I didn't know whether yeah, it was a dual wielding. He's basically dual wielding. So oh, he's dual wielding wand. So he has a pitchfork and a wand. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I, huh. I, I feel like the pitchfork will, the, like the operation of that will be him. Uh, yeah, the pitchfork it, is kind of a tool. Well, you, you're breaking his focus. He just totally aimed the wrong direction. Oh, <laughs> oh he can just start over. Oh wow, <laughs> he can lose a little bit of salt. They ain't gonna kill him. So are you guys both playing at the same time? It's hard for me to see on this TV. Well, so he's away. dead. At the I'm moment. dead. Oh, yeah, okay. he, he he's dead. Hold on a sec. So how do you bring him back? Do you have to restart the level, or you have to go to this uh, barn fire, whatever? Safe they zone. Have? Yeah, oh, he goes to the safe zone. zone he comes you're back. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. So it's basically a bomb. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This this is cool. I'm, I'm liking this game so far. I'm digging the art style actually. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. for the like the whole multiplayer side, like how's that working out for you guys? Uh, it's entertaining. We can't hit each other, so we're safe from friendly fire. Oh my god! Why, <laughs> how did I expect you were trying to kill each other? <laughs> well, I, yeah, I want to try to kill you. Now, I want to try to kill my partner. Now you can kill each other by telling each other to do things that would otherwise not be a healthy thing to do. <laughs> I have succeeded three times so far. <laughs> He's been counting. He has been wow. Counting. He's like, I wonder if I can make him jump into these uh, spikes. Oh my hey, god. you know, we can make a bridge if you jump face first on it. <laughs> Well, you guys keep playing that game. We'll check back on with you in a little bit to see how much you've progressed. And then later on, we'll check back in for a review. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Sweet, it's sweet, so sweet. focused. The only thing we got back was mm-hmm. like, it was more like a grunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> but it said so much. Yes. In, in that grunt, I oh. felt that he was yes, saying, you know, leave me alone. I'm trying to live. <laughs> 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 All right. So um, next news item. We're coming up on the last couple of items here. But. Domino's unveils a tiny pizza tank robot for autonomous deliveries. Wait, what? wait, wait, wait. A tiny pizza, pizza tank. Is that to protect his pizza? <laughs> that and to deliver it. Wait. Fresh and warm. Okay. okay, so <laughs> where does the tank go? Uh anyone know how fast the tank? The speed of light. Wow, <laughs> that is an amazing take. Right now, so by the time it gets there, that pizza should be it's well gonna, overcooked. It's still gonna destroy. The pizza's not even there anymore. It's, it's, it's gonna in another dimension. That pizza it's gonna kill kids. Oh years. wow. Okay. Um, if it ever hits something, that's the end of all of us. <laughs> if that tank ever hits anything, <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, we we have to get the picture up on this. this yeah, yeah. The, you think it looks awesome, but the, the the sad thing about this is that they're doing a test on the pizza tank, and it's only gonna be available in Australia. From now on. Yeah. yeah. Down on the- so you so people who deliver pizzas, you get to keep your jobs for a little <laughs> while longer at Domino's. Well, as a Domino's that really side. cool car. Wait, wait, hold on. Chance. Yeah. You have some insight into yes, this? I, I am currently a Domino's. Dude, guy. dude, share. Um, Let's see. What's what is see, this? Domino's apparently Domino's corporate, right? Uh, mm. With their you know, have you seen the commercials of that car that has the oven in it? Yeah. Right? No, I have not okay, seen yeah. a car so, with the oven. Why? This car that has an oven. Okay. And apparently they're advertising it everywhere right yeah so i delivered to this house and i'm like, I'm like okay here's your pizza hey, here's your change and he's like hey yo bro i'm like hey what, what's up you you got that car 
What, what are you talking about? The, the car with the oven in it. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? What are you talking about? A, a, a car with an oven? Yeah, it was on that new Domino's canal. Y'all got some of those? No, Nick, we ain't got no. <laughs> Start with the I mean, oven. Like, the robot is like, right now, I think when I read about it, it's like going at like 20, maybe like 13 miles per hour. Yeah. Um, And like heavy, like metropolitan areas. Yeah. Like, I can see it. Like, I feel like us drivers down south don't have to worry. It's like we get broken so quick. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I feel like the first bit of news you would see is people hijacking pizza tanks. Exactly. <laughs> pizza and so now the pizza tank is brought up on uh, screen now. If you guys oh, see. there it is. There's the pizza tank. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Uh, and it's so full it's of pizza. <laughs> uh, see, right now I'm just seeing like it going down the street and somebody's like, oh, I got to get around this. But there's a police officer on the side. I don't want to cut this thing off. <laughs> some people like, yo, screw the shit. Boom. <laughs> 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 Which do you think would be worse to be behind on the road, that or a moped? Um, um, probably that. I would I take the moped I would, drivers I would, to take it to the limit, dude. I would take that though because at least it has pizza inside. You can smell it. You get behind it and it's little. What do you call it when you get behind the, the car? No, the the, the thing. Is, the no, when you get behind a car to go faster. Oh, the drift? The drift. You yeah. get behind it. You drift behind the pizza oh. tank and you can smell the pizza coming out of the muffler. <laughs> like, it's the, it's the best <laughs> interstate like ride you're ever going to have. Like, it's, this is going to be great. I can't wait for the pizza tanks to come in America so we can see YouTube videos of people tackling them <laughs> and hijacking them for the pizza. It's going to be... I, I think I'd be too smart for you to do that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder how they're going to get past, like, dogs attacking you. I feel like my dog. Mm, they won't be able to get past. It has like... a taser. It has a built-in taser. <laughs> oh, oh, so that's what. So the two <laughs> eyes on it is built in with like just regular charges yes. there. Oh, oh my god! god. Imagine that. Yeah, that actually, that actually be a good defense for it. It's like, hmm, are you the person I'm delivering to? Nope. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, guys, <laughs> guys. They already said it was a tank. So it has oh a beanbag gun on the top, and it just shoots the crap out of the dog <laughs> as he runs the horn. <laughs> oh, God. I would be so pissed. Even if my dog should probably be on the leash, but I should be so, I would be so pissed. I will come back with a sledgehammer. <laughs> it's still a no. tank. And the tank's ready. <laughs> I'm going to get barking. Huh? Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, guys, um, we're going to shoot through these other segments real fast, right quick. Uh, what do you say, guys? We do one item per segment? Yeah, that works. Oh, All right, man. awesome. So the next segment we got coming up is uh, Games Radar. Games that are coming out uh, very soon. Uh, just in case you didn't know about them, we're going to let you know uh, what's going on with them. So uh, there's Gang Beast for the PS4. Mm -hmm. All right, now Gang Beast has been on PC for a while. You guys should be familiar with it. But just in case you're not, it's a fun physics wrestler. Yeah, yeah. It's these uh, guys in these beanbag suits. They look all funny. They control really funny. Like yeah. you, can, you can use their arms. You can uh, pick pe jack people up and everything. We've, uh, we've done a couple of Let's Plays. We're going to upload that to YouTube. Um, Atomic, AtomicUltra.com or TheSpongePoint.com if you want to check that out. Yeah. Uh, also, Battleborn's having a season pass. That, that was coming. But what's yeah. so special about this in, in particular? Okay, so what they're doing for the season pass is similar to what they've done to the Borderlands uh, game. They're doing it into five packs, and each DLC is going to be five, or you can buy all of them for 20. Okay. Uh, most of these DLC packs are going to have uh, new story missions, uh, exclusive skins, and um, I think there's going to be uh, exclusive taunts for certain uh, characters that are going to be in the game. Okay, that yeah. sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. I want to see the Mushroom Man's taunt. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, the next segment we got coming up is the Atomic Weird uh, News Hour here. We call it uh, Ultra Atomic Ultra Mutation Hour. Mm -hmm. So we got some weird news. Uh, who's going to do yeah. weird news? Yes, we need our mist. 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 Twist mist. Mist. I'm filming the myth. Oh, myth. All right, so Cameron's going to evaporating. Cameron's going to come tell us what's going on. The atomic torture mutate. This is the weird hour, man. Yes. Yeah, and the weird news. The weird news that uh, we got to we, we got to rush here a little bit because we got to pack up and get things going. So, um, okay. the news that particular news we're going to talk about. Are you familiar with Resident Evil? Yes, I am. Uh, would you like some T virus cologne? What? It smells like death. <laughs> it smells like death. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I guess it'd be like a deterrent. A deterrent for zombies? I think. You think this that that's what this is gonna be? Yeah. So the T virus cologne that Capcom is coming out with makes is actually gonna like, work. Makes me smell like I got it, so they don't. Wait, it makes you smell like you got it. 
He got what? He got the clap. He got zombie. <laughs> he got zombie. He got zombie. He's got you got zombie. Is it in you? <laughs> yes. Um. Oh there's God. there's also a uh did you a Super Nintendo uh well, not Super Nintendo. There's also a Nintendo emulator that takes any ROM you put into it and it makes it into a 3D version of the ROM. Okay. It looked pretty neat. It does so, look really cool. Yeah, so take your, your old school Mega Man and put it in somewhat of a 3D aspect. Nope, because I'm returning to Magic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that, that 3D emulator. Mm-hmm. So they either have a 3D version of the game already pre-made, just waiting for that version of the game to be pumped in mm-hmm. to activate the 3D version, or they're actually via scripting going um, bit by bit of the game, transferring it. They might be doing it that way. It, but it, when you look at pictures or screenshots from the emulator, it just seems like they load the whole thing in and they have uh, already uh, separated 3D layers that they just put everything on. Yeah, you got to remember that those ROMs are really small. So it wouldn't take much time yeah. for it to be able to do that type of thing. Right, yeah. right. Let's see. The other bit of thing is um, do you guys know who Benedict uh, Cumberbatch is? Yes. Uh, he Sherlock. plays Sherlock. He plays, what's the other thing? Uh, Smog from the Hobbit movies. Uh. Uh, he played something. He's going to play Doctor Strange in the Marvel movies the next year. He was. He was Khan. Khan. Was he? Yeah. He was Khan. Yeah. Khan. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, <laughs> this Khan. is. I think. <laughs> Khan. I think this is the weirdest uh, of the weird news we have this time because uh, they actually made chocolate bunnies for Easter, but they put his face on them. Can we get a picture <laughs> of that? Uh, <laughs> It is the weirdest thing. You you look at this and you wonder why would you do this? I mean, it's it's chocolate. So yeah, I have no idea, but it's it's his face. It's his face on a bunny. <laughs> like, and they didn't even try to make it cute. It just looks weird and disturbing. And like, this is an abomination that I would not give my child on Easter. <laughs> What's his name again? Benedict, um, Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. Chocolate, chocolate bunny. <laughs> oh my god. That does that don't sound right for multiple reasons. It does not sound right, man. It it does it's not. Creepy. It, it is creepy, Cody. Like that that word just describes it all. Like Jared's about to put it up on the. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. I told you it's weird. No, it's weird. It is weird. Okay, now hold on. Now human bunnies are not chocolate. They're not. They're not chocolate. 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 they are Mm, You're cannibal, sir. Like, if, it's, if it looks, if it's artistically accurate, if uh-huh. it looks good, like it looks like it, there was a lot of effort made into it, uh-huh. then it looks tastier than a regular chocolate bunny. So what you're telling me is that you would tongue down that chocolate bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's so I mean. bad. I would tongue down that chocolate. <laughs> that chocolate How bunny. many licks does it take? Oh god, to get the like, center of the Cumberbatch. The Cumberbatch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it, just, oh. it looks weird. It oh looks my really goodness! Weird. Yeah, chat. There, you, there you what go, you, chat. In all this glory, like that. The Benedict. Yeah. Look, hey, he threw it out there. I just took it long for a ride. <laughs> but there you go, chat. There you go. The Benedict Cumberbatch chocolate bunny. Get it for your children. Get it for yourself on Easter. All you, all you guys that love him out there. Now you can eat him. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Cameron. Thanks for coming in for the weird oh, news hour. Man. Next up, we have Jarrell coming in. AKA Silent D. Silent D. And in future episodes, you will be hearing some music from Silent D. He is the master man. Mm-hmm. Master thank music you, man. Thank you, thank you, Greg. Mm-hmm. As mm-hmm. they said, my name is Jarrell, aka Silent D. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll get to that of the virtual real. Oh, it's gonna come up. It's gonna come up at some point. People will be like, "Why? Why? Why?" In the chat, we're gonna have to tell them because that's it. We just leave it at that. But um, Silent D. So you came in to help us out with the geek. And gamer fashion segment of our show. Yes. What do we have? What do we have going what on? What should here? I wear tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> what should I what, what should I wear to impress my gamer geek friends? No pants. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. You will get punched. <laughs> oh yeah, you will severely. Yeah, you will definitely get punched out for sure, especially by me. <laughs> you, okay, first of all, let's leave that alone. Um, <laughs> but for what to but for what you want to wear to impress anybody or your geek friends or look totally obnoxious, let's start out with mm-hmm. the necktie. And apparently it's not just any necktie. Mm. It is a tie by Electric Styles. It is mm-hmm. one word. Electric Styles, look them up. What's electric about it? Hmm, let's see. We'll get to that part later. They are apparently reinventing the tie as a stylish 
LED light emitting diodes for those who don't know what LED stands for. So the, the whole tie? Device, yeah, it lights up in different patterns yeah. depending depending on which tie you get. So like could I got, get one that was shaped like a penis for my tie? <laughs> I knew, oh, oh my god. god. Well, it's it's gonna gonna be one of the no. No, yeah, it was definitely they, gonna be one of the first things someone was gonna. It's do. electric style, so I'm pretty sure you actually might be able. To, they make rain here. Any. How how much time can you give us? Okay, okay. is is nine oh five or nine ten good? Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> All right, so the electric yeah, tie that lights up, right? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It's um, all good. So we're just getting some stuff. Yeah, here. um, it is it is a tie that lights up, and they come in different patterns, apparently. Oh, yeah, and I like um, that. Mm hmm. And not only that, um, it actually reacts to one of my favorite things because I went to school for it and I got mm -hmm. my master's degree in it. It mm -hmm. react it reacts to sounds. Nice. Yeah. Right. So the illuminated patterns that are on the ties will react to whatever is around them. Say like you got certain music coming up. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't know, but I'm not even gonna worry about that because to me that is 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 a little obnoxious to I me. Like it's, <laughs> it's pretty uh, much attention hoeing. I think it'd be pretty really just... cool if it especially with the music thing, if it went with because I can see it collaborate with something else. Like, okay, it goes with the beats. What about you mm -hmm. have it on and it gets your heartbeat, but then it also correlates to whatever music you're listening to. Yeah, so I like right. that'd be pretty That's cool. Yeah, or like any performance that yeah, you may yeah. see or something like that. Or yeah, you okay. know, it also be in your mood. You know, we can you can do a lot of things. It could be like the next generation of mood rings. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So Sal and D, since we're we're lo running low on time, sorry, chat. Uh, next time we'll be long. We'll start earlier next time, so we'll yeah. have a lot more time. But we got a lot of stuff got, to do. Yeah, you got three more things on the list. You got to choose one. Mm -hmm. What's the next thing that will make me the greatest geek? Give me the greatest geek fashion ever. Okay. Well, um, before I get that, let me uh, explain that um, the tie measures seventeen inches, and mm -hmm. it gets um two triple. It it takes two triple A batteries that are stored oh. behind, mm. that are stored behind the tie, and it'll be re triple. And they say it is priced at twenty five dollars via Red Ferret. That's gonna get hot. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Net gonna be real warm. Oh yeah. I'll wear that when I'm on my hoverboard, so I can just make the fireball even bigger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The the Hoover Hoover. Hoover. It's gonna just have a skull when you blow up. Exactly. That was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so since I have three more things, I only choose one. One. I well I def I want to do something that the water those effect have, but sound effects we have, but we'll we'll bump that. We'll save it for next time. Yeah, yeah. we'll save it. So here's what I'm looking at right now. Mm -hmm. On fashionlyg.com slash bag slash Nintendo, mm -hmm. if you for people who love the original entertainment system, why not get a backpack that literally has the design of it? Design it is called the NESB, aka the, N the Nintendo Entertainment System Backpack. So, SB. That sounds like an impressive reference. <laughs> I like Maybe. it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, of course, is this certainly isn't the first NES theme bag that any of us have seen. Well, maybe. Well, it is for me because I've never really seen one. Or if I did see one, it's <laughs> back when I was a kid. Yeah. And I damn sure don't remember that. But yeah. All okay. right. So so we got we got a uh, lighting mining diode and power tie. Mm -hmm. And we have a backpack design. This is the first Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Yes. All of that is sure to impress my geek and gamer friends. Yes. All right. Pretty much. I'm yeah, trusting you. It. I'm trusting you, man. Jarrell. Yeah, at the same time and they get the same effect. Uh, possibly. It pop, depends maybe. on how you do it. Yeah. Cons consult your nearest nerd nerd sorcerer. <laughs> 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 All right, so guys, um, we we really are running low on time, but that there's Jared just put it in the chat, so you can you see a picture oh, of the is. Nintendo bag. Um, guys, so we really have to go, but uh, if you want, if you like our show, make sure to follow us. If you want to see more of what we're working on, you can head over to the spawningpoint.com, and that is an amalgamation of everything that we work on. Even the other projects that we listed and other names working on. Mm -hmm. um, if you like this show, make sure you tell your friends about it because we will be here uh, approximately every Saturday around four o'clock. Notice he said approximately. 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 We, some Basically things out of our control. Come on, okay. <laughs> there, there are some <laughs> things out of our control that we have to work around. But approximately every Saturday at four o'clock, make sure you keep it tuned to the Atomic Ultra Show, people. Mm -hmm. And also, if you have any suggestions, letters, or if you'd like to like tell us about some <laughs> cool things happening, letters at AtomicUltra.com. Yeah. Send us some mail. We'll read it on the show. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe. And let Adrian <laughs> tell tell everyone exactly when will the show air. Whenever the hell we want it to. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for this episode of the Atomic Ultra Show. We'll see you next week sometime. Until Woo! then. Burn. <laughs> <laughs>